All right. Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear from your side. Let me know, please, if you have any problem. Let me just see the microphone. Oops, the microphone have a problem. All right. Uh, before we start today, I want to talk about something very important. I see there are some some ladies in the West, specifically in the West. They always fail into the, into the trap of Muslim men. They marry you, they date you, they take you out. I mean, and then you end in a very bad situation. And then you cry. And you say, what I can do now? I have a son from him. I married him. I have a daughter from him. I've been with him for many years. In Christianity, there is no marriage between a Muslim and non-Muslim. To make it simple, I'm saying Muslim and non-Muslim. Uh, anyone, he is not a Christian, you cannot marry him. That is a pure adultery. You are just sleeping with a man. You call him husband, that is a lie. That's what the Bible teach. The only way for a woman to have a husband, he is not a Christian, if... They married before they became a Christians, both of them, or one of them. That is the only accepted or considered marriage. Same time, why you want to risk your future with someone he believes in different belief? What you are expecting to happen in your house? You pray to Jesus, he pray to Allah. You say Jesus says love and peace, he says do jihad. You believe that women should be respected, he believe women should be beaten and she should be jailed in her house or room. What do you share together? Why in the world a woman, she will go with the Muslim man? What's wrong with you? There's no men left in this earth? That's it. The only one he become your dream is Abdul. However, the problem is deeper than that. You grow up in a society where your parents don't care anymore if you have sex with the husband or you have sex with the neighbor or if you have sex with the guy in the grocery store. They call him boyfriend. You live in a society where nobody cares if he is a Christian or not. That child grew up in such a society and he do what society do. You do wrong, you end wrong. You stay away from God, God is not with you. Now for someone who is in such a problem, you better leave. Otherwise, you you have babies from this man, man. He might, you know, he would convert them to Islam, and he would make them Abdul. He would make them go and join jihad. You marry someone he's a Sunni. Tomorrow, he will find your son, maybe attacking some people in the street. Why? Because he believed that he have to do jihad. He will read, he will read the Quran. The Quran teach that. Leave. Don't stay in such a marriage. This is not a marriage. This is adultery. Marriage is between a believer and a believer. Anything else is adultery. You cannot have the darkness and the light in one place. They marry you to get papers, and after they get the papers, they dump you. I remember a British woman, she married Abdul. He got his papers, he became a citizen, and then every year he want to go to Jordan, I think it was Jordan, to visit his family. And then this visit became like every few months, and then it's almost like every few weeks. This woman, she worked in Islamic radio station, imagine, she converted to Islam. Six years, she's working in the radio station to convert rich women Stupid women like her into Islam. 
after six years this is stupid woman she noticed that her husband is marrying to other women in Jordan younger more beautiful not like her he married her for the papers and he used her and they used her in their radio station for six years she's promoting Islam making women convert to Islam Muslim men are the best Muslim men they would treat you like a jewel Muslim men she she is the one who told me that and then after six years she noticed that she was dumb and she was stupid and she was used and then she started talking about Islam but it's too late how many women you did lie to and you made them convert to Islam because of your stupidity because of your lies how many women they became a victim like you because of your stupidity and you're arrogant and because you are selfish why you lie who is the best husband in the in the in Islam Muhammad the best husband go and see what the best husband is about so this is a very important thing you need to teach your children about and you go to the church they, they, they there's many they call themselves churches you know but they are not churches they are the same as Muhammad they are just doing business everything is okay anything is okay Ah, uh, you have a boyfriend okay nice to meet you you have a girlfriend uh, okay uh, you are coming wearing a very short skirt it's okay I mean who uh, you know Muhammad wanna watch Muhammad wanna see today if you are a person who say the truth people get upset and get angry why you do why you do that to yourself you harm yourself You want to marry you see I don't even advise you to marry someone he is a Christian but is from different culture even if he's a Christian I am an Arab you are not you marry me you will have a problem even though we have the same faith so how about marrying someone coming from the cave time believing in beating women believe he can have four wives Believe that women are stupid, and this is why we can beat them, and then you complain. Why you want to do that? There's no men left in your country who speak your language, who have your culture, who sing your song, who eat your food. Are you getting my idea, guys? Somebody saying in Arabic, Yeshua who Allah. No, my friend, Yeshua is not Allah. Allah is a pagan God. Stop Arab people, stop using the word Allah. This is stupid. This is not exist in the Bible. Don't be stupid. Jesus is not Allah. What Allah? Are you insulting Jesus? You, you claim to be a Christian. How dare you to say that? Stop listening to the you know, I mean, there is tons of things you make you upset. Look at the Arab Christian. They are reading a translation for Arabic, which is a false translation. It says that Allah is God. This is not our God. Allah is the moon God. Shame on you. What's wrong with people? If you want to marry from a man, find a man he speak your language. He understand your jokes. He understand your culture. He celebrate what you celebrate. Stay away from what it's called mixed culture. This is very dangerous and very stupid actually. I have my own culture. So if you want to live in my house, you have to understand where I'm coming from. even though i am a christian still i carry inside me my culture my what i grow up all my life you cannot change me overnight and you will never be able to change me and i will never be able to change you unless you are a potato you are subdued 
you are a woman who decide to be a goat so I order her to change okay change your clothes you change your clothes change your makeup change your makeup don't do that yourself be don't be stupid <clears throat> I advise you see let me tell you what uh, what Western women they like about Middle Eastern men and I am a Middle Eastern man they like that we are protective as if they are looking for a dog to protect them from biting I mean what's wrong with you what do you mean protective they don't they are not protective they own you the protective male here is not a person he protect you he own you he protect his property he own you you are his property you are his goat this is not about being protective because he loves you but because he believed that he own you They like Middle Eastern men because if you go with a Middle Eastern man in the restaurant, he pay. He will not ask a woman to pay. I mean, how naive of you. You sell yourself for a dish of food? How cheap. My friend, I am not Assyrian. Stop saying to me, where are you from? I'm not Chaldean. I'm not Assyrian. I, I just said I am an Arab. I just said I am an Arab. If you go with me in the elevator, you will commit suicide. I will scare the hell of you. How many times I need to repeat that? Anyway. I really get upset when see a Christian Christian lady. She she uh, you know she suffer from such a problem. Hello. Okay, he hang up. Yeah, exactly. I'm black, blonde, African American from Japan. We, you know, we, we grow up in a society where everything is a practically correct. And because of everything is practically correct, you end with, with garbage. Everything is okay. I mean, okay. Nothing is wrong. In such a society, society, there's nothing wrong. You can do whatever you want. But the second you say something right, the whole world will go against you. They will call you racist. They will call you hateful. They will call you fascist. They will call you Nazi. I mean, you name it. The Quran says that the, the, the Hadith says, kill all the Jews. Nobody want to ban the Quran. And nobody want to ban the Hadith. And nobody want to ban Muhammad. But if a Western guy, he said, same what Muhammad he did, he go to jail immediately. You see the hypocrisy? In France, there is a law. If you deny, just deny the Holocaust, you go to jail. Just if you deny. I mean, he did not do anything wrong. I mean, just to deny, you go to jail. Okay, that's wonderful. So why you allowed Islam in France? Islam not only denied the Holocaust, he worshipped the Holocaust. My mother suffered greatly because she married a Muslim man. That man is my earthly father, and I forgive him. I went to show him the fault of Islam. Okay. My friend, there's a big risk. When, when somebody, when a woman, she married from a Muslim, there's a big risk. First of all, what is the guarantee that he will leave Islam? No guarantee. Secondly, what is the guarantee that if he said to you today, I am leaving Islam, tomorrow he will, you know, he's lying, or he just to you don't want to create a problem with you, or he want to get papers, or whatever. Why do you want to do that yourself? If somebody converted to Islam, 
he don't fit for you if somebody leave Islam and became a Christian before he marry you and he proved that he's a Christian a person who go he preach he teach not just that he say I became a Christian because trust me a person who became a Christian he will not be a normal Christian if he is a truthful he will not he will become more a Christian from a Christian who is born in a Christian family so if somebody convert to Christianity and just did do nothing I mean obviously he's not so why he converted he don't really care a person who convert to Christ the first thing you see about him that he starts spreading the gospel fighting for it as an example the, 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 the gentleman the brother we have in Germany his name is Amir and his brother they converted to Christianity but they do go and see what they do they go in the street they spread the brochures they teach everybody they want to bring everybody they are fighting for it as if they are not only born in it as if they are like the roots of their feet is that deep in Christianity this is how you examine if somebody he became a Christian or not not just just doing baptism Talk to him, see how much he believe, see how much he want to do, see how much he want to bring people to Christ. Is he willing to talk to his family that he will bring them to Christ or just he is claiming that he became a Christian? Don't make them fool you. Irony and Antichrist in Islam. I'm not sure what you mean, but Islam itself is an antichrist as a religion as a faith The Bible says it clearly Who is the antichrist? Is the one who deny the father and the son and all of Islam is based on denying the father and the son So when you marry from a Muslim you didn't you marry from somebody is an antichrist imagine Imagine how evil that is Your partner with somebody the Bible called him Antichrist anyway what we do here is to teach you so you will not be abused by somebody trying to fool you and make you make fun of you make you believe that Muhammad is a prophet and Islam is a true religion and Allah is a God there is nothing truthful about this cult from the first page to the last page in the book and we are here to take a challenge Muslims cannot provide us with anything except a shame of their cult do you remember yesterday we have a person who called us who remember what he said in the when he called me do you remember he admit that he's a prophet he fell in love with the woman she is married and she is married to his son he admit that his book says that Allah he made a miracle that the prophet if he like a woman Allah will make the penis of the husband swell I mean look how disgusting and how savage even there what they claim to be a miracle even even that one is 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 disgusting and it's evil what kind of God will make the penis of the husband swell because the prophet like the women obviously the women the wife she is a whore and she is sleeping with Muhammad already and she fabricate a story that each time her husband want to sleep with her Allah make his penis swell Muslims they understand the mentality in the West Western people they became so naive and anything anyone say anything to them they believe it this is why American if you go and see what, what they vote for you will see what America is about you see what the West is about as an example you go to Germany miracle she is she is uh, the, the counselor of Germany for many years they keep voting for her this is how stupid the country become I mean this country this woman she opened your borders she bring you million million of Muslims and instead you vote for her donkeys certified donkeys look at America look at Canada look they vote for who 
look who is the prime minister of Canada you will see that Canada became a certified donkey country look at America look at England people they lost their mind because everything is under the control of the liberals and the second you have the liberals in control everything go wrong Trump he want to close the borders the whole world go against him he is racist the whole world his border is closed <laughs> I mean it's amazing amazing the hypocrisy in this earth me for me one country if you go there and the police they stop you and you don't have a visa they will not deport you but the guy he want to do what is right no, he's racist. He's hateful. He's a fascist. He hit the black. He hit the brown color. He hit the Arab. He hit the Muslims. He hit everybody. Just do what is right, and then you will be given all kind of ugly titles. What is the difference between Antichrist and a Dajjal? Hello? Hey, brother Christian Prince, how are you? Hey, my friend, I'm fine. A hey, long time uh, no see, huh? <laughs> yeah, what we can do? I was doing Hajj. <laughs> but you are dirty, you are kafir, you cannot enter Mecca, my friend. My friend. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I was so clean, this is why I went. I wanted to feel dirty once in my lifetime. Uh, you so, so you took ten time shower uh, around the Kaaba? What? No, I touched the black stone, so I became so clean. <laughs> Christian Prince, the reason, brother, why I, I wanted to call you, uh, we know Islam is a pure uh, satanic religion, but uh, if if you have some time, and uh, I want to show you uh, an hadith from Sahih al Bukhari. All right. If that's okay, sure. uh, if you go to sunnah.com and you go to Sahih al Bukhari. Uh, one one two five. Don't Sorry. give me a number. Tell me what the hadith. I will remember it. Yeah, uh, it says Gabriel did not come to the prophet for some time, hmm. and so one of the Quraysh women said, "His Satan." Satan, has he, he he forsake you. Your yes, your Satan forsake yes. you. Right. Yes. So then, uh, uh, somehow the divine revelation comes. So you see, it says his Satan hmm. deserted him, right? Yeah. And and you have the footnote also, chapter 93, uh, ayah 1 to 3 from the Quran that backs it up. So it clearly says his Satan has deserted him. Yeah. So what uh, what is your uh, point of view about it? Because this is very clear, right? <laughs> well, Muhammad, Muhammad, he uh, he confirmed in different place and different hadith that uh, 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 that Allah, he helped him against shaitan and shaitan, he command him but to do good. You know? Yes. So Muhammad he confirmed that he have a shaitan, and the women here when she asked him, because they were wondering what happened. You are not, uh, you are not receiving satanic verses no more. So they yeah. said to her, "Where is your Satan? Where is your Satan? Has, he has they left you." So then yeah. Allah he revealed says to her that uh, 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 that Allah did not forsake you, and He is still sending you for etc. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can show the hadith uh, on the screen for the people. Uh, maybe they can take notes. They can because see this it. is really it's in the screen. They can already. see it. Okay. Okay. If, before okay. you finish your words, it was in the screen. <laughs> Perfect, my friend. Yeah. yeah, this is really this is really important stuff because you can you can uh, as a Christian you can uh, put this hadith in in the face of Muslims. Look, it clearly says Satan. So don't say uh, Allah is not Satan. It's proof and it's in front of you and it's Sahih hadith, right? Yeah. And the Quran, the Muhammad, he confirmed. Actually, if you remember, we we have a uh, little uh, chat or debate with the guy from the speaker corner. His name is what I forgot his name. Um, he, uh, uh, you know, Abbas or, or Abbas, or Abbas, else? Abbas, Abbas, yeah. Abbas okay. Yeah. 
I remember, yeah. Uh, the the guy we saw, we showed him that the prophet said that my shaitan he commanded me to do good. He said to me, it's a genie. I said to him, shaitan, he said, it's a genie. I said, shaitan, it's a genie. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's clearly shaitan, right? Yeah, it says shaitan there in front of his eyes. But Muslims, you know, they are ashamed of what is written in their books. This is why they try to get away from it. Yeah, yeah, we know you're right that Aisha, Aisha has also a shaitan because Muhammad says, uh, says to her, Hey, your shaitan came to you, right? Yeah, all so, of this in my, my book. If you read the uh, yeah. six and Allah, you will find it. Uh, and then, yeah. uh, you know, when Muhammad she said that to him, Muhammad he gave her a verse in the Quran, uh, and he claimed that, uh, you know, um, when when the when night come, you know, the the god of sex come. And he's yeah. yeah, and he's seeking for you know because Muhammad he have a problem. You see, when when this hadith here in front of us about Aisha, Aisha obviously she is young, she is horny, she wanna have sex. Muhammad is old and he cannot do it. I look for the messenger of Allah and I put my hand on his hair. He said, Your shaitan has come to you. I said, <laughs> Do you have shaitan? He said, Yes. But Allah, He helped me. Uh, he helped me against him, and He submitted. Which means Muhammad, you don't have sex no more. Yeah. No, exactly. All what the women she want to do, she want to have sex. She is a wife. She's trying to play with her husband to go to bed. Yeah. So Muhammad now accusing her that her shaitan is a plane. Your shaitan is in action now. Yeah. So Muhammad, and she said, "What about you? Don't you have a shaitan? Which means, don't you want to go with me in bed? You know." So because obviously for him, sex is shaitan. Uh, yeah, but here you notice Muhammad he's trying to avoid you know uh, uh, the problem which is in you know he have a sexual problem he cannot he cannot have sex maybe in the beginning of his life he was able but obviously later he cannot so he's getting old here and he cannot have sex and he accused Aisha that by touching his hair his shaitan is doing that but how a Muslim can explain that to us because she's his wife she's lawful yeah, there's, unbelievable. There's right? nothing to do with Satan here. This is not satanic. If a woman, she, she, even a woman, she, she come naked to her husband. She is totally naked and say, "Hey, sleep with me." That is not satanic. This is his wife. So, why Muhammad is saying to her, "You Satan coming to you"? What's wrong? Why he's accusing her? Why he's connecting his her act to Satan? Yeah, yeah. Don't you wanna uh, say shahada because of this, my, my friend? I mean, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, we hope that some Muslims will call us and will give us some, yeah, uh, some brother, answers. Thank you. Thank you and very much. This is really interesting stuff, you know. It's it's in front of us, and you know, Satan is all over the place in Islam, and uh, Satan, Amir Ka Muhammad, you know, yeah. <laughs> he's writing him every every time. He and his wife. Yeah, actually, he said the clearly. What can we do? You know, actually, once there's a chat room in Arabic. I know you. I, I'm sure you know it in the, in Paltok. Yeah. And there was an admin, his name is Easy something, Easy 11, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the Muslim, he come every day to the chat room and he said to the Christians, you Christians are the sons of the devil. You Christians are the sons of the <laughs> devil. This guy, he said to me, can you answer him? What do you want to answer? You answer him. He said, no, I mean, I'm just still actually just laughing. I'm relaxing, you know. They are the admin. This is, uh, I don't really interfere there. So uh, he said, Look, just take the mic and say something. I know you can get him busted. So I took the mic, and I know why he's saying that. You know, he's saying that because Muhammad told them, when a person, he have sex with his wife, if he don't pray to Allah, the shaitan, he will be the one who is doing his wife. Yeah, the he will, will wrap himself right. around uh, his, uh, yeah. his private part, and he will be doing yeah. the wife, and the wife she will be. You know, this is why even the Quran, Quran confirmed that. So he, I said to him, I, I said to him, uh, so uh, why you are saying that? Uh, tell us why the reason. So he told us the reason. The prophet said, etc., etc. I said, okay, thank you very much. So are you sure that this is a hadith is true, sahih? He said, yes. I said, no, confirm again. Is it sahih? He said, yes. Are I said, you are you sure, sure sahih? <laughs> he said, yes. I wanted him to say it three times as usual, you know? <laughs> so after he said it three times, I said to him, okay, based on what you say to us, that if a man, he don't say the name of Allah before he have intercourse, the son will be the son of the devil. That's yeah. when your prophet himself is a son of the devil because his father is not a believer. Yeah, he was Najis, right? So <laughs> Muhammad must be the son of the devil. He took the mic and he started crying, May Allah curse you, may Allah kill you, may Allah destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> and since then, never came back and said to the Christians, You are the sons of the devil. Yeah, you, you got him busted, right? <laughs> how this is how stupid Muhammad is because Muhammad didn't didn't figure out that he himself is a son of an unbeliever. How you say to yeah. them? 
that if you don't say that prayer before you have intercourse with your wife shaitan will do your mother or your wife and you forgot that you yourself are a son of an unbeliever stupidity yeah. versus madness yeah you have some stupid uh, muslims they will say no no how can you prove that uh abdullah and amina the the parents of muhammad are in hellfire well muhammad himself says when when a sahabi comes to him and he asks him where where is your father muhammad turns his back and he says your father and my father are both in hellfire yeah, and even I mean, he mentioned his mother you have too. another hadith he mentioned his mother amina is in hellfire too, yeah he so asked he no asked he asked allah for intercession to his mother and allah refused yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, my friend, thank you very much thank for calling. Let's see if we can God get some Abdul. And, uh, hello to everyone uh, in the chat, and uh, God bless everyone. And keep uh, this great work up, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? Mayday, Mayday. I want to marry four Muslim women, and they want to play with my hair. Thank God I have hair, not like Sam Shamoon. Otherwise, I cannot say that hadith to them. See, Sam, Sam Shamoon, he cannot practice that if he marry four Muslim women. I can. So I will marry four Muslim women, and they will play with my hair. And then I will say to them, Did your Satans come to you, my wives? And they will say, mm, Yeah, uh, what about you? Do you have Satan? I say, Sure, sure. But Allah, he converted him to Islam. He's a Muslim now. I mean, this is alone. Is a, this is a wisdom. This, you see the wisdom? The wisdom is a dripping from Muhammad. Muhammad, when he talk, he don't, he don't talk actually. He drip wisdom. Do we have any Abdul? Want to explain to us why her shaitan is coming? What's happening here? You have to make a woman marry me. That's easy. You know, especially in the West, I grow a beard and say you are a terrorist and change your name, women they will marry you. All right? Tell them I need papers, I need a green card, they will marry you. Hmm. Do we have any Abdul? Super intelligent. Who is a Muslim want to call us? Maybe, maybe. You got a bad picture of women. No, I did not get a bad picture of women. But women these days are not really doing the right thing. You know, they forgot their roots. They forgot where they are coming from. They forgot their religion. They forgot their belief and many they became hippies everything is all right everything is okay nothing wrong in this earth the second you reach such a mentality you will find yourself in deep trouble but you will notice that later is going to take some time do we have any abdul this is why you see the Muslims, they target women specifically. They target women. You see, if you see most of those who they convert to Islam, they are women. Did you ask yourself why? Women are a target. They are. You grow up in a society where your parents don't teach you what is right, what's wrong. You go to school where everything is okay. There's nothing that, the, you know, the word shame is not exist in the dictionary no more. The word wrong is not there. Do whatever you want. And then you end, that's okay. Well, someone, they teach you to accept everybody. You see, even if even you go to church, even you go to church, in, in many churches, they teach you the, the, the false version of Christianity that Christ, he loved everybody. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Christ, he loved everybody. Okay, Christ, he loved the world. I understand that. But this is not what meant exactly. 
if Christ love everybody that's mean he want to save everybody doesn't mean we go steep with them is that correct what loving everybody have to do with having a, 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 a husband is a Muslim or a boyfriend is a Muslim what does this have to do with the Christ the love of Christ is what Christ he did you rebook them you teach them what is right you shout you scream you say this is pagan this is idols this is adultery not by confirming the wrong and say it's okay you can do whatever you wish I know that this is a very sensitive topic for many and people they will not be happy hearing me saying but this is the truth you know this is the truth when the wrong became a lifestyle then you will end in the wrong place You will never find love in your life because you are seeking lust. You will never find a true partner in your life because you are just seeking a bid partner or a, a, a company, someone for fun. And when you don't want to be truthful with yourself, what do you want in life? Are you going to change women and men like changing your shoes? What, is that the purpose of your life you know we eat and we go to the bathroom and we take a shower and we go vacation and we go to the bar and we drink and we get a drunk and then we sleep with whoever in the bar is that is that what life is about later you will find yourself in a big big trouble Divorce is a sin in Christianity. Yes and no. Divorce is a sin if you are divorcing just a divorce. You see, the Bible speak about adultery. Adultery is what? Adultery is many things. Many th many people think adultery is about women cheating her husband or a husband cheating the wife. No, any sin against God is adultery. So if your husband is not a Muslim, is not a Christian, that is adultery. That's why the Bible says the earth committed adultery. What earth? Have you ever heard of the earth having sex? No, this is not about sex. But the second you say adultery to someone is a Christian, right away he think you are talking about sex. Adultery is any sin against God. And the second we live in sin, and sin is our lifestyle, then everything in our life is adultery. Everything. You see, we commit sin, all of us, and I'm not saying I'm better than you, but there is a difference between somebody when I live adultery and when I live sin. When, again, when I say adultery, it doesn't mean just a sexual thing, anything. If you steal, this is adultery. If you lie, this is adultery. When you decide to live adultery lifestyle, you lost respect to yourself. Because everything for you is false, is fake. Your relationship with people is fake. It's, it's, it's based on benefit. It's not because you, you like those people to be with them, but there is a benefit. Why do you want to have a boyfriend? Well, because he give you a good time. But not because you have something good between you and him to share. Today, this guy, today your boyfriend is John, tomorrow is Muhammad. The day after is uh, uh, Sasuke from Japan. The day after, you know, we, like it's like international relationship. Like Muhammad. Muhammad, if he loves a woman, he stay with one woman. But he don't care for a woman. He care for his desire. So every day he have a new woman in the bed. Because women have no value. And if you do the same as Muhammad does, that means you have no value for yourself. You don't you don't respect yourself. Not only you don't respect women or respect men, you don't respect yourself. Because you see, the whore is not the one who sleep with many as a woman only. 
it is the man who sleep with women many he is a whore too but sadly today in the world when you say the word whore they think you are talking about a female but the fact is not true the whore is anyone who is for sale what is the benefit what is the difference between a Muslim doing muta and women getting paid for sex and in return he gets sex and the women she go out with the guy just because he spends some money on her and then she take off her panty for him it's the same it's a muta is that correct it's the same you met the guy today second day we go out the day after we are in bed what's your name I forgot your name what's your name They want you to be the same as Muhammad. The Satan, you see, Satan, he come to you in many ways. Islam is one of them. It's not the only way. Drugs, you know, like, you know, naked beach. I mean, what, what, is, what is the point of this naked beach? I mean, people almost already, already they are naked. Why do you want to get totally naked? What does that will do for you? I mean, what is the benefit? It's madness, stupidity. Satan is not out of ideas. What is after naked beach? What you will do? Let us walk naked in the street. And okay, and what is next? Naked in the car. Okay, what is next? What's wrong with people? The second you stay away from the true teaching of the true God, you became like a person who have no shield. The nakedness here is not about being naked of the body, it's about being naked in your brain. You have naked, you are naked in your heart. You think life is just about to be an animal. Life is just a, a penis and a vagina. Let us have sex. Okay, I want to be free. And you cannot be free without being naked. I mean, this is what freedom for you. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, um, I believe I called you yesterday, right? On the Matthew 27 thing? No, I don't remember. Uh, okay. Oh, you're we talking about the Jesus Barabbas. Yeah. You, you remember, right, sir? Okay. Are you, are you a Christian yeah, or a Muslim? So I, had, I had like a question, basically. Are you a Muslim? So, sir, are you going to do are you a Muslim? in the future? Are say, you, God willing are, that, you, are you a Muslim? Uh, you know how the Muslims say that Jesus, the, the prophet, was mentioned in the Bible, like the Old Testament. Yeah. So, are you going to do videos about that to refute the claims, like how they say the Comforter is referring to their prophet, and how Deuteronomy eighteen eighteen and the prophecies in the Book of Isaiah hmm. that talk about the mountaintops of Sela will rejoice. So, are you going to do videos on that too? We we did we did many time. I mean, the, the, this is like a topic we answer a thousand of time, and there's nothing actually to answer. It's stupid. It's a lie. And yeah. at the same time, you see, the best way to answer the Muslims about that is not to go and explain the Bible. Leave, leave the Bible alone. Yeah. The best way to explain it is to go and get them busted from their Quran. The first right. question you have to ask a Muslim, why Muhammad did not quote for us Isaiah to say my name is there? Mm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because if he's what, a prophet of God, he, he has to have knowledge of the previous scriptures, right? Right. Not only that, God will tell him yeah. your name is there. I mean, so why we need to wait until the that 1400 years after to discover that Muhammad's name is there, but Muhammad is the last one to know? Right, right. Same time, the Muslim, they have another problem. The Quran says that Allah told uh, uh, Isa and Isa told the people that there is a messenger will come after him and his name is Ahmad, not even Muhammad. Which means, yeah. if the name of Muhammad or is going to be appear as Ahmad, in chapter 61, verse number 6, it says that Allah, he said to Jesus, and Jesus said to, said to his people, that there's a prophet will come after me, his name is Ahmad. Okay, based on this, the Muslims, if they want to find the name, if they found anything, any story about, uh, about uh, Muhammad in the Bible, have to be fit with what is written in the Quran. Right. Are you getting my point? Yeah, like which, for mean, example, which mean, which mean, which mean, which mean, Jesus have to say literally that there is a prophet will come after me. His name is Ahmed. As simple as yeah. that. If not they converter. If, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, not converter. No, it says Ahmed. The, the verse in the front of us. You know, his name is Ahmed. Right, right. Not even Muhammad. So, mm. if they can't find that, then they they have a point. Otherwise, all of this is 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 a fiction and is, is stupid. Yeah. 
you know yeah like we see in uh, song of solomon right you obviously have heard right shake ahmed the dad all these scholars they say that uh, muhammad muhammad dim or something like that muhammad dim yeah muhammad dim like they say he's mentioned you see, or the, something the, the, the hypocrisy the stupidity of them of, yeah. of those abdul that the dad himself was making fun of the song of songs in many debate calling it the book of porn yeah he was challenging us even to read it for our children if this is not wrong Suddenly, somebody told him that Muhammadim is in that word, and so he decided to change. And suddenly, the song of songs became holy. <laughs> they are hypocrite. They are liars. However, like the, the, they the, say that there's incest in the Bible and the Old Testament and all that stuff. Like incest, they say like a lot. Yeah, incest, incest. First of all, let us say the Bible report a story about incest. What is the problem? Mm -hmm. What is the problem? Because people they do things and they do commit sin they commit a crime as an example the bible report a story about david committing sin so there's a huge difference between god says go and do this and i do that right right, right. if if now if let us say christian prince he did something wrong what does this have to do with the christ nothing mm -hmm. nothing a story the bible is a book of of uh, of books which contain history of man and god which mean man is there stories of man is there and god word is there you can judge me by word of God, not by the word of man. You can judge me by the word of God, which he I, I belong to, not the action of a man. As an example, did one of the disciples of Jesus betray Jesus? Yeah, Judas. Okay, what does this have to do with Jesus? Does that mean Jesus is bad? No. Okay, so why? Uh, so you know, when they quote for us stupid things, it's funny. Same time, in Islam, yeah, yeah. In, in Islam, insist is, is halal. If you go to chapter 25 verse number uh, uh, 54 and we spoke about it just yesterday it says mm -hmm. uh, 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 You go to the interpretation it says that if a man he have sexual relationship with his girlfriend Which means not from marriage He have the right to have sex with the mother and the daughter for she is not considered as a daughter according to Islam that is incest. That is a direct incest. This is a real insect because now you are teaching that you can have sex with your daughter in the story of of Lot, two daughters they they were afraid that they will not survive and there's no men around them and they want to have babies so they slept with their father. It's not even Lot he did that. He, they, they made him drunk. Mm -hmm. you know? So if if they do that, yeah. this is their action. This is not a, a, the teaching of God. This is not even what uh, what Lot himself he want. And even if Lot himself he did, what is it? What what is the uh, like? Wh where is the bad ethic in there? If this is a man doing something. He want to do and he is bad. Is that a bad ethic of Christianity? Is that a bad ethic of, of Judaism? Or this is a bad ethic of a man? So they try to find things to make it look like ugly, but the fact yeah. Islam teach everything is ugly. When Muhammad mm -hmm. just yesterday, we were debating it with a Muslim. And in Muhammad, he slept and he married his own son wife. Isn't it? This is incest. Yeah, I saw that video yesterday. Yeah. Here we go. Muhammad himself doing incest. My daughter-in-law is my daughter. That's why we call it daughter. So how Muhammad, he let his son sleep with his daughter-in-law, and then he took her after him. Is that is right. that incest? Not only that, you will see in the Quran that Allah told Muhammad that you go and take her, which means incest in Islam is a teaching of God. Incest in, yeah, in, in, false, in the, yeah. incest in the Bible is against God. If mm -hmm. it, if somebody do an action like that, the Bible is being actually this is a proof that the Bible never changed because if this yeah. is a shameful thing, why the Jews did not take that story off? Mm -hmm. Like Correct. for example, like you know how for example the uh, the daughters of Adam, right? Yeah, the daughter of Adam, the sons of Adam, they had to, in a way, do incest because there was no other way they had to produce children, right? Right, but but we see, but this is like incest here. It's not it's not uh, like uh, yeah, it's, it's not the same yeah. because it's not it's there's no choice. Same time, if you read the story about Adam's uh, uh, children in, in Islam, it's really funny and stupid. According to the Muslims. <laughs> The uh, Adam he have uh, each time his wife she gave birth she gave birth to a twin a boy and a, a male and female So what Adam he do because he's very conservative. So he marry the twin female to the other twin male All right, and what yes. happened that Cain and Abel They have a twin But what happened that one of them his sister she have a cross eyes So now both of them they are fighting over the women who have no cross eyes and then they, they, they gave a sacrifice to Allah. And Allah told them, 
that the one who I approve his marriage to that girl who have no cross eyes is the one I will take his sacrifice. And then both of them, they provide sacrifice. One, he, he provide a, a ram, and the other one, he provide a, a, a zucchini. Allah, he sent the fire to, to eat the, 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 the ram, but not the zucchini. And the guy who, the lucky one, is the one who married the girl which have no cross eyes. <coughs> this is how stupid yeah. Islam is. Yeah, right. no, um, I, I don't know, like, uh, like I said before, I don't know much about Islam, right? But, like, I've been looking at your videos, and, but, and, for example, I don't know, is this right? But, like, is there a verse in the Quran that says that a hell is not eternal? Is that well? No, is... the, no. The, the the Quran speak about hell. That's uh, no. The the hell is going to be, but the the eternal. The, the angels are not eternal. Allah will slaughter them. The, the angel of death, Allah will slaughter him. Right, right. Because the angel, um... the angel of death will be brought as a ram, you know, and Allah will slaughter him. Because, because... Cur currently, I'm actually a student. Um, you know, uh, I'm high school, and I have like a huge interest in like Christianity and Islam and so on. Okay. Um, and so I have a lot of uh, Muslims friends, uh, friends too, and they they question me, right? They say, you know, where did Jesus say I'm God? Where, you know, the, and you know, we talk about the I am, right? Before Abraham was I am, right? Not only that, not only that. You see, the if you if you if you go in the Quran, if you check the names of Allah, as an example, the Muslim they say that one of the names of Allah is the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, who can call himself the truth? Ask any Muslim. He will say to you, only, God. only God. Okay, Jesus said, I am the truth. Allah is the resurrector. Mm -hmm. Did Jesus says, I am the resurrection and I am the life? Yeah. But CP, why do they, why do Muslims always discredit the Gospel of John? No, it's not about discredit John, it's about discrediting the whole Bible. But you know, the, the, for yeah. them, you see, the Muslim, most of them, they are copy paste. So somebody he discredited John, so they copy. It's not about being being smart or stupid. You know, it's about just copy paste. Nobody even nobody even read the book of John to talk about it. And 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 the most funny, like if you see the debate between this guy and uh, David Wood, he said Muhammad that the book of John, the book of John, is written ninety to ninety five years uh, uh, A.D. Uh, 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 but he forgot that he accept Muhammad speaking about Jesus six hundred years after Jesus. So he reject. Why he reject the book of John? Because written 95 years after Jesus, according to what he said. But he yeah. accepted the book of a man. He never witnessed Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He never heard of Jesus. And even he don't even have the real, right name of Jesus. He called him Isa. <laughs> 600 years after, without, with not even a single witness, without even a single manuscript, without even a exactly. single proof. You know? So 600 yeah. years after, they have no problem with it. 95 yeah, years after they have a problem with it. So th this is the, the Islamic stupid mentality and it's very easy to defeat Yeah, so like, um, Yes, yeah, so like I said, I have a lot of uh, Muslim friends too, right? Um, and you know, like I, I get in discussions with them sometime like I say, okay, you know, let's talk about our faiths and uh, I say you, you know what they say to me? They say that oh, you know, the Quran is perfectly preserved. It's the complete word of God. It's eternal um, and so what do you, what do you say to that? Like, you know, like there, there, there is complications in the Quran, right? You can watch my debate with the guy who we, we spoke about that and you will you will die laughing I don't know if you saw it. We have a guy who oh, came no, to I don't debate think I've seen that one. Okay, go back uh, guys. What is the name of the what is the name of the The debate with that guy anyone remember I forgot um, If somebody can post the link so he can watch it uh, this guy, he you know, he got his profit busted. Big deal. Just watch it and laugh, we, because we spend the whole two hours talking about the same thing you are talking about. No, not yeah, Abbas. Yeah. Not Abbas. The guy who called me from the Middle East, the Arab guy, the Arab who said, "Christian, are you Christian prince? I want to get you busted." You remember? Yeah, I, I don't think I seen the full video though. I saw like partially a bit. Yeah, the, uh, I, I will try to find you the the video. Yeah, and you can watch it. Anything else, my friend? Uh, no, that's about it. Um, right. Let us thank give you. a chance. Let us give a chance to more people to call. And thank you very much for calling. Yeah, amen. Um, you know, like, yeah, like I pray. You know that you know God helps us. You know to reach out. Or, you know sometimes because we object to Muslims, right? And yeah. they they claim they try to defend their faith. They try to lie about certain things, right? Let them try. They try. Yeah. Let them try. So it's it's hard, like sometimes, but you know. Uh, we pray to God and we ask him to guide us right ultimately yeah, friend, come out of the friend, let, let, me, let me let me tell you something about praying the Christians they have a wrong understanding of praying there's many Christians they think 
if we pray everything can change the Bible speak about praying and the power of prayer yes but the mm -hmm. Bible says Jesus says go and teach and preach right. that is the prayer of Jesus Jesus he used to go to the top of the mountain to teach he did not say let us pray so people will believe no you need to teach you need to preach you need to share you need to 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 to, to tell you cannot change the world by just praying if there, if there is somebody in the front of your house and he is dying from hunger you don't pray that god will send food you give him food you know all right my friend we have a noise so we, we we will we will finish it with here thank you not by praying you will find it fight the devil only if you don't have knowledge the devil can take you down this is why the bible says you know my people they've been destroyed because of their ignorance and this is why we were talking in the beginning about women marrying from muslim men or dating muslim men this is this is the ignorance which will destroy you did you watch the the movie it's called the troy when the enemy they brought a horse as a gift and you like the horse but inside the horse is a death my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance our problem is not islam trust me islam is very easy to defeat the problem in how is how many donkeys around us the problem that christians they are praying to god to make the donkey a horse but they forgot he's a donkey he will never be a horse the Christian they think they can fix the world just by praying they go to the church and they wave their hands to Jesus we love you Jesus we thank you very much Jesus in the airport now is waiting for you this is not what Jesus taught you to believe in Jesus is not about praying to Jesus and waving your hand to Jesus is to do what Jesus did and how you can speak as Jesus speak if you don't know how you can bring people to Christ if you do not know the answers just say to them Jesus will save you you know this is the thing you notice with the Christians you go to any Christian forum the Christian guy right away he says to you we are saved by the blood of Jesus the Abdul he will be like what by the blood of Jesus those people are zombie <laughs> look at them they are saved by the blood of Jesus crazy crazy people hold on Christians don't present Jesus to to a person who do not know who is Jesus by right away speaking about his blood what's wrong with you even if he's a Hindu even if he's an atheist even if he is a you know just tell him who is Jesus first what what we are saved by the blood of Jesus right away to the blood of Jesus like you you summarize the, the, the Bible for him by giving him the blood of Jesus he will not understand he will think you are mentally ill you have a, you have a problem explain to him first who is Jesus what Jesus did and what happened and what are you saying but right away they say words which will make people think wrongly about us as an example when I say Jesus died for my sin how many Christians you hear them saying that every day okay if I'm a Muslim I'm listening to this Jesus died for my sin hmm okay <laughs> The Christian believe that they can do any sin they want because Jesus died for their sin and this is what they teach The Muslims they go around and they lie about us and they say that we Christians believe that Jesus died for our sins So we can do any sin we wish It's not the fault of the Muslims It is the fault of the Christians who could repeat in something without presenting what is the truth They summarize the Christianity by saying Jesus died for my sin. That's it. It's over. As if he taught you the whole book now. This is acceptable if you are speaking from a Christian to a Christian. Somebody who know the book. Somebody who studied the book. Somebody who understand what Christianity is about. But you don't speak to someone who is not a Christian by saying to him, I have been saved by the blood of Jesus. Unless you spoke to him already about many things about Jesus and then you reach the point you say to him This is how I'm saved So he might understand correctly what you mean
you go to churches in the church you will see the priest standing tall and teaching the church that you know like let us say you are a Christian you want to ask your bishop what is Islam the priest hmm, who is hired to do a job he is not really a priest he's just a businessman he gets salary he gets paid he stood up in the church and he started giving you a speech Muslims are Abrahamic they believe in the God of Abraham Muslims they are from Ishmael and all the Christians are listening to this lie and not even one of them he stand and he says what's wrong with you where do you get this lies from because a blind is leading the blind if if the blind is the one who will guide you and you are a blind I mean you can imagine what kind of a church we have why nobody asks himself why nobody ask his minister where you get this from who told you that Muslims they are Abrahamic how you come to a such a conclusion can you teach us please he might say to you the Quran says so do you believe that Jehovah's Witnesses are Abrahamic he will say no what <laughs> Well, a second ago, you told me the Quran says so. Didn't you? So Abrahamic is not anyone. He say, I am Abrahamic. It is somebody believe it truly in the God of Abraham. Do we agree, guys? Who cares if what you say? You can say, I'm a Christian. You know, Jehovah's Witnesses, they claim to be Christians. But the fact they are not. They are a big fat cult. They have almost identical book for our book with false translation. So are we going to say Jehovah's Witnesses are Abrahamic? If we ask them, what about the Mormon? Oh no, the Mormon are not Abrahamic. But the Mormon, they believe in Abraham in their teaching. So why you are saying the Muslims are Abrahamic? Based in what, in what rule? Based in what intellect? It's based on stupidity. And you, Christian, don't ask them where you get this from. Abraham is an Aramaic. Hajar is an Egyptian. The son is an Arab. <laughs> oh, boy. Must be a true story. That's yeah, a very true story. I want to marry a Japanese woman so I can have a German son. I'm an Arab. She is Japanese. We got German. I mean, think about it. Yeah, makes sense. All right. Be aware, my friend, of false teachers who teach you false. Always question things you hear. If somebody says to you, okay, Muhammad is from Ishmael, tell him where you get this from. Where, how, when, how this happen? When the Christian, they promote the idea that Muhammad is from Ishmael, they are doing the propaganda of Muhammad. Muhammad, he used that tactic to make you believe that he have legitimate roots he is from Abraham he is the grandson of a prophet this is the whole idea if Muhammad he believe what Jesus says to, to people you know, look what Jesus said to, to, to the Jews the Jews not to the Hindus not to the Buddhas not to the Muslims the Jews they are Jews yet he said to them if you are of your father Abraham you do the act of your father is that correct if you belong to your father Abraham, then how come you don't do what Abraham does? And they are Jews. Which means Jesus, he denied that the Jews have nothing to do, and those who he's talking to specifically, have nothing to do with Abraham. Even though they are descendant for real from Abraham.
Do we have any Muslim? Maybe, maybe. Do we have any Muslim? Uh, I remember one of you, you know, I said in the other day about uh, a Muslim, he asked me about the cross of Jesus, the cross. As he said, are you, you, so you are saved by the cross of Jesus? I said, not only by the cross of Jesus, everything Jesus did, you know, Christianity for us is Jesus, the Christ. The cross is, is the top of his act. He show us his mercy and his love. So when we as a Christian, we say we are saved by the cross of Jesus is true, but not only by the cross of Jesus, by everything Jesus he present. By him, we are saved, not by a cross, not by a piece of wood. Make it clear. We are going to be saved by the Messiah. We accept the cross as one of many great actions, beautiful, merciful, loving actions Jesus he did. The cross is, you know, we are saved by 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 his by his gift. This is what the cross means. Great gift. He gave his life. But we are saved by him. Everything he did for us is equal to the cross. Hello. Yes, my friend. Hello, Salaam. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, how long are you online for CP? I'm all right. Oh, that's good. Are you online for long? Yes, uh, I'm here online for some time okay, now. Good. How can um, I help you? Well, do you have a specific topic, or are you just talking generally? Well, we are, we have many topics we are talking about. But uh, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, because I wanted to. I was listening to you talking to some guy, Asif, and you mentioned that Allah had two shapes and he changed from one shape to another. I couldn't find this hadith. Uh, that's very easy, no problem. I will find it for you. Let me finish my topic and I will I will put the hadith in the screen. I will show it to you and I can post it for you even in, in the chat. All right. Okay, thank right, you. Thank you. Yeah. So, guys, we are saved by the teaching of Jesus, by the wisdom of Jesus, by the mercy, by the love. By the act, by the action, we are saved by following Him. Not everyone says to me, "Lord, Lord," will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do will, His will. All of those things will save us. Not just believing in a cross. That is not true. Because if you believe in the cross of Jesus, you believe that Jesus died for you, but you don't want to do anything toward Jesus. Jesus don't don't know you. Jesus said, "Many will come to me and says, we did miracles in your name." He said, I don't know you. Depart from me. Why? Because they work for their own glory, not for him. So we are saved when we do. Not by being a Christian by name. Somebody asked me, why you don't have a very high view of your videos when you deserve to have a lot more? I said, ask the Christians. The Christian, they like to watch a guy in the in the TV. I mean, I'm I'm not showing my face. They like entertainment. They don't share my videos. They don't post my video around. If I am a Muslim, I guarantee you, I will have millions of subscribers. You cannot imagine how the Muslim they will support me in what I do. Christian, they watch. They claim that they knew Jesus and they belong to Jesus and they love Jesus. But yet those who defend and they fight for the truth, they are the last one to support. We ask them, who want to invite us to a church? As you said, nothing. See, Go and see how the Abdul are invited everywhere to speak. Even Christians are inviting them. Do you believe it or not? Go and see how many churches they invited Shabir Ali to promote Islam in their churches. Christians, many of them, they promote the devil. 
I saw a video of a church it's called Anabaptist and those people I have a problem with them before when I was in the Philippines I was speaking I asked some questions to a senator now he is the the, the, the foreign minister of the Philippines uh, Senator Catayano uh, after I finished speaking to the senator this uh, uh, Canadian minister he came to me and he says so what exactly you do I said as you see this is what I do he said ah oh, so you are the kind of person who divide people imagine a Christian person is accusing me that I am dividing people I said why I'm dividing I just quote for you what the Quran says it is the Quran dividing people not me it is the Quran who call people kuffar and nudges and dirty and filthy and believers he was looking at me as if I am really a person who is not a Christian I mean he's looking at me like what this guy he said to me but I have I have Muslim friends you were saying to the senator like you can you know but Muslim cannot take anyone as a friend he said I said you, you have a friend but they are not your friends he said no 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 you don't understand I have a friends I said <laughs> and you are the one who don't understand you think you have a friends but they are not your friends they don't accept you as a friend the Quran says that I went to his page because I got his uh, you know his, his card I check his name in the in Facebook his page and I found that this idiot who claimed to be a Christian minister posting every day a post about Muhammad all the post to present Muhammad as the most amazing person and he is a Christian minister for the church is called Anabaptist Christians are doing that so why you playing the Muslims you have the enemy within your church So before we can fight the cult of Islam, we have to fight the ignorance and the stupidity around us. How many of you encounter that somebody says to you, Islam means peace, and he is not a Muslim? Go right now and ask. People, they will say to you, oh, there's many people, they misinterpret the religion of Islam. They are not Muslims. Right away, he, right away, he says to you, oh, those are terrorists. They are misinterpreting the religion of Islam. Ah, okay. But Muhammad was a terrorist. Muhammad was the first terrorist. So what do you mean misinterpreting the religion of Islam? Once I was sitting in a coffee shop in the Philippines waiting for some Christian, you know, ministers. And the guy next to me, he's a Canadian, I think, as I remember. Um, so I'm reading and he said what is that Arabic etc so you are a Muslim I said no I'm not a Muslim etc so like we start talking about Islam and then he said to me I don't know what are you talking about I read the Quran from the cover to the cover and there's nothing of what you said is there this potato who is not a Muslim he read the Quran from the cover to the cover and there's nothing of what I said to him is there I told him, look like you did read the cover only. <laughs> Do you want me to show you? <laughs> he said, no, no, I did read the whole book. I said, there is no way you did read the cover only. Let me show you. I'm not lying to you. I mean, let me show you. Right away, they are not Muslims. We are talking to a person. He's a Canadian. He has nothing to do with Islam. He's not a Muslim, and he is defending Islam. This is what I say that we have a problem and the problem is ignorance, stupidity. The problem is not Islam. The problem is how many stupid people are around us. As long as we live in a society that everything we learn is from a news station. A president, he says Islam means peace. Muslims are peaceful people. Okay, how many terrorists between Muslims according to study? According to study, which is made by the liberals, they say only 10% of the Muslim population is terrorist. If the Muslim they claim today, they are 1.6 as they claim, which I don't believe is true. That's mean we have 160 million terrorists. 
only 160 million terrorists only what we can say to stupidity my friend and the question is why 10% of the Muslim population are Muslims uh, why not 10% of the Hindus why not 10% of the atheist 10% of the uh, Buddha there's many belief why only Islam have 10% of population are terrorist where we can find the, the roots of what is the what is the cause of those 10% to be terrorist it's Muhammad Muhammad was the first terrorist Muhammad he said clearly wide open I've been victorious by terror no sir to be rob funny they say to you that ISIS is not Islam and right away all TV stations start making program BBC NBC you name it ISIS is not Islam because they want to try to delete the images from your head about beheading crucifixion killing burning people alive they want to make you forget about those those are not Muslims they are killing Muslims and then you get a donkey like Muhammad James White who claimed to be a Christian minister he says to us whoever says Isis is Islam is a liar do you remember the guy is a Christian minister supposedly and he debate Muslims to defend the Bible supposedly and then he defend Islam he says Islam is not Isis And then there is many foolish who follow this man who believe that he is really a real Christian. There is a very easy way to find if somebody is a real Christian or not, especially when he talk about Islam. If the Muslim they say to him, "You are a great person, we like you," it means he is a scam. Kabich. If the Muslim they start saying to Christian Prince, which is me. Christian Prince, you are a wonderful person. We love you. It's me, Christian Prince. Is gone. Don't ever listen to him. There is no way, no way, a Muslim will say to someone speaking the truth about Islam, may Allah bless you. Go and see that there, there is a guy, his name, uh, Rabbi to weave a singer whatever his name the Muslim they praise him, but he's a Jew, but the Muslim they hate the Jews So why are they are praising him? Hello Hello Christian Prince. It's Issa. Hey my friend. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm just kind of curious as to why you blocked me You're blocked Yeah, you blocked me I have to call from another account to get to you. Mm, I don't know. Maybe you are calling like became annoying or something go ahead what do you want to say yeah i know how the truth can be annoying you know oh the truth okay show us the truth. Okay, go truth. ahead show us the truth go ahead okay so the hadith you just you just showed so tell us is it forbidden for a prophet or messenger to wage war well if the war is about you know something legitimate not about women and having sex with women then it is legitimate yeah if about if about somebody attacking you and you will defend yourself, yeah. But Muhammad, he said, go and attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls. I didn't see that part. Where is that at? Do you want to see it? But I want to see that. You've been Muslim for about four years. I never saw that part. You are a Muslim for four years. You never saw that part? I sure didn't. And I'm still waiting for the answer to if he, if Muhammad was not the last messenger, then who was? With proof from the Bible, please. Muhammad is the last messenger. First of all, to say Muhammad is the last messenger, my friend, you have to prove that he is a messenger. Was he? Of course he was. How? So prove if, to me. Hold, hold on. Let, let, let us go one by one. Let us go one. Let us go one by one. Let us go one by one. Hold on. Hold on. You said messenger you said you want me to show you where Muhammad he said attack the Roman and get the blonde girls, correct? Sure. Okay. I will show you in a second. Hold on. 
And while you find it, please tell us who was the last messenger. The last messenger. God, he sent whatever he was, he wished to send. You can ask God about that. So you don't know who the last messenger was? No, I do not know. But I know that we have uh, we have messengers sent by Jesus, and they have the right to teach, and they have the authority of Jesus. And the Quran so confirmed that. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran confirmed that. Read with me. This is in the screen in front of you. This is Tafsir at Tabari, and we can show it to you in many Tafsir. You're a prophet, he said, attack the Roman and get the blondie girls. This is Tafsir at Tabari, very number 14, page number four, uh, page number uh, 287. Read carefully with me. He says, uh, Do you see the screen with me? Yep. All right. Uh, let us see. Al Mujahid, Kalu, Kala Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Irzu Tarnabu Banat al Asfar, Yani Nisa al Rum. The Mujahid, he said that the Prophet said, Attack the Roman so you, get, you can get the blondie women and their women of the Okay, beautiful. Now, what, what habit is that from? This is hadith number 16786. Who collected it? Uh, none of my, my business. It says it and Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. My friend, don't don't play garbage. Don't play garbage. You you check it out. You check it out. You check it out. You never heard of it before. You said you never heard it before. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It says in the front of you. This is according Hadathani Hajjaj and Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. Oh, those are companion. So they said the Prophet he said though, and this is why the, the hadith here is speaking about the verse in the Quran. That the Quran says, a man he said to Muhammad, Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Tempt me with what? Tempt me with women. Yeah, that's what the man said to the Prophet, not what the Prophet said to him. But this is the story behind the story. This is behind the story. This is behind this is this is behind the story. This is why the Muslims explain to us what is the reason for this verse to come down. What is your comment? So you just prove that you're a liar because you did not bring me a strong hadith. How you know it's a, how you know it's not a strong you idiot? You tell me you how you know strong. how you know it's not strong how you come to the conclusion if you never heard of it before I just gave you the hadith a second ago and now you know it is not strong but you do not tell me who collected it that's it says it says in the front of you are you a donkey I just say to you I just say to you hadathani hajjaj donkey listen donkey listen donkey I said I say to you I say to you it's in the front of your eyes hadathani hajjaj Hadathani Hajjaj and Ibn Juraj and Mujahid. Do you see who reported the, so the hadith? What is the, I told you how many times I taught you before. So, you so now, listen, listen. Are you saying to me, are you saying to me that you Muslims are a bunch of liars and you are lying about your prophet? No, I'm, I'm telling you, you're a liar because you did not bring I showed you the hadith in the front of you. You don't even know how to read it. Do you know, do you know even how to read it? You don't even know how to read it. You are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Now answer. Now answer. Listen in front of everybody. I challenge you to show me that this hadith is weak. Go ahead. I'm listening. The press upon you to show me the hadith is strong. You don't know who the I just showed you. You see, it doesn't say there. As long it doesn't say Abdul. As long it doesn't say it is. It is weak. It's mean. It is strong. Abdul. As long it doesn't say. It doesn't say. That's mean. It is strong. This is why it doesn't say. Anything about it except it is reported. You see the commenter. This is your scholar. He did not say this hadith is garbage. This hadith is wrong. This hadith is bad. He just reported the hadith for it's true. He's trying to explain to you the verse. Now, are you saying that your scholars are a bunch of liars? Listen, I caught you. If you hang up on me now, everyone knows. Abdul, you know, everybody is laughing at you. Hang up on you. Who are you? You are no one. You don't even know how to what, what I'm showing in the screen. Do you know? Do you know what I'm showing you in the screen? You are the same as Muhammad. You do not know the difference between a donkey and a horse. Can you read what I showed you? Can you read what I showed you? How you know? How you know that this is weak hadith? Ex explain to me, a donkey. How you ex how you explain to me? How you explain to me that this is wrong? Explain to me. Go ahead. How you find out a second ago you never heard it before? Show me. Okay. Show. Okay. Show me how this hadith is weak. The hadith have ratings. They're either strong, weak. Or fabricated, you didn't show me which, what the hadith is. I showed you, it's in front of you. Hadith number one, six, seven, eight, six. Bukhari, or okay, let me ask you one by one. Abdul Bukhari? Bukhari is a collection of hadith. Are you a donkey or a stupid? 
no, I think you're a donkey because you're not telling me. It's a blue collar, yes or no? We have to go down the line because you want. Abdul, 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 Abdul. Let us do this. Let us do this. Let us do. Let us do this, Abdul. Let us do. Let us do this. Let us. You see why I hang up on you because you are a kid. You are not a man. No, let us do it. Do it professional way. Can you prove to me that this hadith is wrong? It's upon you to bring me the hadith. I gave you the hadith. You said I am no. I'm not the one who said it's wrong. You have to prove it now. I am the one who brought you the hadith. You have to prove it to me. It's wrong. Go ahead. I'm not one of your followers. What? You are not. The accusation. Very simple. I made an accusation. I gave the proof. Now you you said you are the one who made the accusation. It's weak. Abdul, shut up. Get lost. You are a stupid donkey. Shut up. Go and post it in YouTube so everybody will laugh at you. This is who is your prophet. You cannot prove that I'm wrong. Coward. When I say to you, this is the hadith, then you say to me, okay, I'm going to show you it's wrong. It is you who claim it's wrong. So it is you who prove it is wrong. Don't call me, please. Hold on. I want to give you 10 minutes to call me back. Did you find the reference? Okay, this is what you always do. Did you, you find the reference? Are you going Are you going to prove it wrong or not? That's upon you to prove that they're strong. You see, not. everybody is laughing at you because I am not the one who said it's wrong. The one who say it's wrong, he have to prove it wrong. No, that's opposite. I don't know it's the opposite. Talking. You are a donkey. Don't call me again. You are a kid. Let your mom call me. Let your mom call me. Or let let your let your mom call me. I want somebody who have a courage and knowledge. You are a donkey. You are a certified donkey. Uh, now let. I'm, I'm about to cry. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, listen, so listen, now, listen. now explain to me. I want you to give me the interpretation for this verse. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. Listen, you can't bring me the proof. You Abdul, Abdul, proof. Abdul, get me busted. Give me the interpretation for this verse. Abdul, donkey, donkey, give me the interpretation for this verse. Can you? Simple. Can okay. you give me? Can you give me the interpretation? Just listen. no, I'm not listening. Can you give me interpretation for this verse? What's the verse? The verse in the front of us. You don't even know what verse we are talking about, don't you? What's the verse in the Quran? You don't know even what verse I'm talking about, guys. Look at this. This this donkey. He do not know even what the verse I'm showing him in the screen. And I'm so hurt. You call me a donkey because okay. you are a donkey. Otherwise, okay. how how you answer me without We're knowing even we are talking about what? How you answer me without knowing we are talking about what is the verse we are talking about? You know, you know what what is the verse we are talking about? We know what disbelief means. <laughs> Get lost. Go. You don't even know the verse I'm talking about. Anything you show them, right away they say it's weak. You are telling us that your Islam is garbage. You are telling us that you Muslims, you have a lot of garbage about Islam. So how we can learn about Islam from garbage people like you? What you are trying to say to me that we Muslims, we did make a lot of lies about Muhammad. And yet, yet nobody, my friend, don't call me now, the, the guy who's calling. I mean, what's wrong with you guys? Let's just finish the topic. When you say to me that this hadith is weak and you just confirm that you never heard of it before, that is a proof that because you go in the stage of denial, you've been shocked. You are the one who asked me, can a prophet of God wage war? I said, well, if he is a prophet of God and he have a legitimate reason, yeah, he can go for war. Why not? I can go with war with, with, with Islam. To defend Jerusalem to take it back if I'm a prophet and someone like Muhammad a pedophile attacking my land I have the right to defend myself it's not the Roman who attacked Muhammad it's Muhammad who attacked the Roman and he's just a fight and he's trying to seduce his men by going and attacking by getting the blondie girls that is your prophet And look at this tactic. Prove to me this is hadith is strong. He never heard this hadith before. A second ago, you never heard it before. And now you don't even know the verse I'm talking about. <laughs> How you are answering me? How you are sure when you do not even know? He, like I thought his guy, he know what he's talking about.
and then he said to me what verse you are talking about <laughs> what verse what verse do you know even the verse you don't know uh, and you Christians you ask me to be patient the second the Muslim he tried to play games with you get rid of him hello Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? I'm all right. Did you get me an answer for what we said? No, no, I, I, it's another person. I know, but do, what do you think about what we are saying? The, you are lying on this hadith. Do you know why? Sorry? The guy that narrated this hadith he is a Mujahid. Mujahid never met uh, the Prophet Muhammad. Mujahid is never what? Mujahid never met Muhammad. Never met Muhammad? Yes. Okay, so how he is reporting what Muhammad said? He's reporting from Ibn Juraj, correct? This is, is Ibn Juraj, is Ibn who is Ibn Juraj? Who is Ibn Juraj? Who is Ibn Juraj? Is, are those our companion? Who is Ibn Juraj? Who is, who is Hajjaj? Who is Al-Hussein? Who is the last one in the, 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 the my friend in, my friend the, uh, first of all first of Mujahid. all first of all Mujahid. this is a, this is a story reported by many people not only by this person in Mujahid as Show you see it says it says and Mujahid قالوا, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم, this is an Mujahid from who Ibn Juraj yes. Ibn Juraj yes. reported Mujahid. from Hajjaj okay one. you are saying to me Mujahid Mujahid he never met Muhammad correct yes okay so where Mujahid gets from? This is a weak hadith. This is why he never. This is it, it, it's it's a hadith morsel. Mm. It's a fabricated hadith. Yeah, but I, I want to ask you your knowledge about Mujahid is coming from where? Huh? Who, where your knowledge is coming yeah. from? From when you say Mujahid, who, who told you about Mujahid? I, I see I see uh, one scholar in the YouTube that uh, say this he show in uh, in uh, in the book that uh, studied the, uh, the the this uh, the, the, the 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 person that narrates uh, the hadith about the prophet each one he has uh, a biography and we know he, mm. who, who born and we did he meet a prophet or not and he lied and not and mujahid the the the, the time that the, uh, mm. he never met muhammad he is born mm. okay after, uh, what what about what after, uh, what about uh, okay what died. okay what about ibn wahab hadathani yunus qala akhbarana ibn wahab qal ibn zaid qala ibn zaid what about ibn zaid But the last one, the last, the, you see, it doesn't matter now. Well, who I report to you, you will say to me, I don't agree with them. All of them, they, those are who are who is Ibn Zaid? What is the excuse now? If if he just as you see, as you see, as you see, I see. Okay. قال هو رجل من المنافقين يقال له جد بن قيس. Who is the one reporting the story? قال ابن زيد. قال ابن زيد. Okay. Now. If you Muslims have a problem with your with your scholars, if you Muslims have a problem with your scholars, why your scholars did not get busted, and why you Muslims did not make a revolution against why those books saying those stories if they are false? If, do you know why? Because Tabari is a book of history. My friend, this is not only in Tabari. Who, who said? Who said? Okay, hold on, hold on. So you are saying to me a Tabari is wrong. So if we find it in different book, is that fine for you? Is that will work? Show me this. Thing. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. If we find it for you, if we hold on, hold on. A tabari, a tabari is a, a historian. You said right? Okay. If, hold on. Wait, wait. So if we show the story from different books, is it accepted by you? Bukhari and Muslim. This is the authentic. Only the authentic. Okay, okay. Let us go to the authentic books then. You said, you said, Show only Bukhari. Bukhari. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You said only Bukhari is authentic for you. So now whatever we show you from Bukhari, you will accept. Show me the thing. Uh, if, no, no. I want you to confirm, just to show the hypocrisy of Muslims. I want you to say loud and clear. Anything you show me from Bukhari, you accept. 
Show me. No, don't say me, show me. I want you to confirm. Yes, yes. Anything from Sahih Muslim, yes, anything yes. from Bukhari, I yes. accept. Okay, so yes. if I show you that your prophet, yes. he said the stupid things in Al-Bukhari, you will accept. Now you change the topic. No, you see, here we go. Idea. No, 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 I want to show the hypocrisy because you are trying to change the topic because you are trying to say, show me no. Al-Bukhari. No, no, no. Why why you want me to show you from Al-Bukhari? What is the purpose of Al-Bukhari? The Al-Bukhari is to prove that you are, you are, I, I am showing everybody, I am showing everybody that you are, a, you are a hypocrite and you will not accept what I will show you from Al-Bukhari. Otherwise, the second I say to you, if you're a prophet, say something bad in Al-Bukhari, do you accept it? You said no. It's bad because... No, no, no. I, 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 I'm saying to you, if your prophet said something crazy, stupid in Al-Bukhari, do you accept it? Okay, I, w I want to ask you something. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Let us, let us stuck with Al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. If you're a prophet, he said something stupid and humiliating and ugly and disgusting in Al-Bukhari. Do you accept it or not? Okay, before, before you do it, uh, can I ask, I ask you one, 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 one something? <laughs> okay, go ahead. When you, when you say something is, is stupid and this is stupid, according to who? According to your logic? According to everybody, we will see. You will be the judge. No, even you, even no, you. you it, even it's even you, even you, even you. No you, problem. Yes. My, my friend. Yes, I will accept it. Then what? My friend, this, my friend, my friend. You, my friend. Problem. you can... You, you you can you you can be you can be the judge you can be you can be the judge no problem you can be the judge you can be the judge why why you are worried about al-bukhari al-bukhari a second ago it was your source yes i have no problem go okay let us read but again it is subjective to say this is stupid this is good it is it is up, up to you to decide who is it stupid or not no problem Let us show you. Because the, the judge is subjection reference. Okay, okay, hold on. Let us, uh, everybody will read with us and we will see in a second what will happen. <clears throat> because at Tabari, in, in, the first, in the first page of his book, he said that what I narrated is not always authentic. It's to you to, to, to go and, and, uh, and uh, study if it's authentic or not. In other uh, books. All right. Okay. Let us see. <clears throat> I will show you a hadith about the muta. What you will say about it in Al Bukhari? So. All right, read with me uh, carefully, please. Mm. This is Sahir Bukhari. You see it? Yes. Okay. What do you understand from this? Can you show me the Arabic one? Okay. Here we go. Just move this screen. I, don't, I didn't see it. What? Move, move this screen. Move what? Okay, okay. This screen, this screen to, to see the yeah. Arabic one. Okay. <laughs> so? Are you proud about your prophet allowing you to do muta? Are you proud that your prophet is allowing you to have sex with women to pay them money? 
what the difference between this and your prophet saying go let us attack the women the Romans so we can get the blonde girls isn't it the same your sister your mother your daughter are allowed to get paid for sex she go in the elevator somebody he see her he offer her two dollars she take off her panty what do you say let me read it all this time you took you read it but it's uh, uh, its condition is illegal it's illegal by who What is what is your point in this hadith? Are you saying prophet say it is allowed? So, uh, my friend, did your prophet allow you to do muta? Yes or no? No. No. Are you sure? No. Okay, yeah. guys. Did you hear him saying no? Did you hear him saying no? Let us get him busted. Yeah, sure. Oh, hold on. No, you, you, you said sure. you are sure. You said you are sure. You said no. Everybody heard you a second ago. <laughs> Here we go. Read with me. This is your prophet. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the one you like and you love very much. While we were in the army, Allah Messenger came and to, uh, to us and said, you have been allowed to do muta, so do it. Do you see it? You see, this is this is in in the, the time of the battle. I don't care. I don't care. You Muslim, you Muslim, you Muslims, you allowed? No, no, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said to me. A second ago, you liar. A second ago, you said to me no. Everybody heard you. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, only. Okay, hold. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, are you saying in the time of the uh, in the time of a war, you can go to a Muslim woman and you ask her to take off her panty for two hours to sleep with her? Is that allowed for you? This is in the context of war. Doesn't matter. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. If if a Muslim man, if if Muhammad Hijab do win a war now, and he saw your sister in the street, and he wanna do muta, he's horny, and he said to her, "I will give you five dollars to sleep with you." Is that okay for you? Who 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 told you that the sister and the and and the uh, and the woman are in the battle? What? This is which one the man? What I don't. In the battle. What? What he says here, it is allowed. It is allowed only in the battle, my friend. What so battle? You can, you can, you okay, can, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, if I show you that this is not only in the battle, what you would do? Show me, show me. No, no, no. I, you, you see, you show me, show me. A second ago, you said no. Each time I show you, we can jump in from place to place. But I, you, you don't answer me. If a man, let us you, let us finish one. Let us finish one by one. Let us finish one by one. Let us finish one by one. I, okay, let us finish one by one. If, if a man, he is a Muslim. He is horny. He saw your sister, and he said to her, "I want to sleep with you." He is in the battle. He's a fighter. He's ISIS. Is it okay for you to practice the muta? This is in the button and okay, has, uh, okay, okay. Context. Let me get you, but he will not answer. Okay, let me ask you. Let me ask you. What is the limit of the muta without battle, not in the war, during the normal life? How how many days the maximum you can have a woman for muta? It depends. It is an it's an agreement between you and the the woman that you will marry. Okay, you are the one who said to me you are a liar again. You are a liar. It's three days, three nights. Let me show you. You are a liar. You are a liar. No, according to your prophet, it's three days, three nights. Read with me carefully. And this is Sahih al Bukhari. Read with me. Stop lying. Allah Apostle said if a man and a woman agree to have muta, temporarily sexual relationship, their marriage should be last for three nights. Do you see it? Sure. Where is the hadith? It's in the front of you. I 
And if they like to continue, you didn't uh, finish the habit. No problem. They can do so. Yeah, Why but they, this Why? is about Why? renewing. No, no, this is about renewing. So the the, the muta okay. is it three days? No, hold on. And okay. anyway, anyway, listen, listen. No, let us say, let us say it's for. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So this is not about war now. It's about muta. It's about muta. This is not about war. This is not about war. So what is your answer for your prophet? Who is seducing men so, saying to them you can hire a woman for sex what, what kind what kind of a prophet he is you see show me the word much i hear he said marriage my friend he, he didn't talk about abdul me. are you a donkey or what are you a donkey or what it's here you are donkey, my friend. It's yeah yeah, yeah my, my friend listen Listen, this is about muta. Here, even the Muslim in translation, they are saying to you, it is muta. Do you see the word muta? This is your Muslim translation. Stop being a liar. She's a marriage, my friend. Guys, does it say muta? Because no, no, the word does even the hadith never mentioned the word marriage. The, the hadith in Arabic, the hadith in Arabic did not mention the word marriage. It is about muta. Any two of you, any two of you. You know, okay, you tell me, you tell me, okay, okay, let us say it's marriage. What kind of marriage if you like to be together for three days only? Explain to us. No, no, you see, it's not just three days. It's Get lost, donkey. I have no patience for donkeys. That's it. <clears throat> You've been served and you got busted. This is your translation, and in Arabic, it's so clear. And even if you want to say to me the word marriage is not there, you idiot. It says any man and women they want to stay together three night. Explain to us. They will stay, they will stay doing what? <laughs> three days or three nights, they will do what exactly? Explain to us. Only they say you can continue. So it's a marriage. It's three days or three nights, it's a marriage. Three days and three nights is a marriage. He said you can continue. You can why continue you what? Say? You can continue what? You can. Why he said three days and three nights? Okay. Are you saying? Are you saying in Islam? Are you saying in Islam? I can try your sister for three days, three nights. If I like to continue, I will continue. Is that what you are saying? Is that a try? Is that a try? Is that a try? Is that a try marriage? Is that a try marriage? What is? It? What kind of marriage? Why he's saying three days, three nights? And if you like to continue, you continue. What he's talking about? He is talking about marriage. Because what kind of marriage? What kind of marriage? What what kind of marriage? Shut up. What kind of marriage is it three days, three nights? And if you like to continue, you continue. Explain to us. Okay, okay. define me what is a marriage. It's just a temporary the marriage a temporary. Get lost. Even in your Islamic translation, you donkey, it says muta. This is your Muslim website. This is sunnah.com. So look what they do. Look at the strategy of the Muslim. This is why we want the Muslims to call us. So you see, guys, you're Christian, how the Muslim they try to fabricate. Show me Sahih Hadith, strong Hadith. Anything you show them, it's weak, without even proof. However, even the weak, by the way, is accepted. Number two, I accept only from Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Y y yeah. Uh, 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 are you sure? Yeah. And now we show them. Why you don't have a problem with Muhammad allowing you to do muta, allowing your sister to take off her panty and get, I don't want to use a bad word, for money, and you are saying, I am a person who don't accept the hadith about Muhammad seducing us with women. Why you are calling me, Abdul? I want to discuss. You don't want why to you are, why you are calling me? No, why you are calling me? You, you are you are, you are dishonest. The the word in the front of us. This is translated by Muslim. It says muta. Why you are liar? Yes, okay. Muta. So this is muta. You, but you said this is not muta. You said this is not muta. Why you are lying? The meaning of the marriage. My friend, aren't you the one who said this is not muta? Why you are lying? You see, I see this is mucha, but it, it's not just three nights. It is continue as much as you want with your... Thank you very much. Your, your so life. you admit that you're a prophet. He allow your sister to get sex for money. A marriage, you see, a mucha in a marriage, it's an agreement. It's not just... Agreement of what? This is what mucha I mean. Translate for us. What the, what the word mucha I mean. Translate for us. Mucha... Yeah, what would I mean in English? Tell us. I want to learn from you. Can can have many meanings. Oh, no, no, tell me what this muta. What this muta? Don't don't tell me many 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 many. Tell me what this muta mean here. 
sexual pleasure sexual sexual pleasure is that correct sexual pleasure is that correct it's not only don't tell me not only it is sexual pleasure don't don't tell me only my friend listen in the muta let me teach you in the muta a woman she cannot inherit her husband is that correct the muta, if, if he continue, he become a marriage. Uh, hold on, so I'm talking about the muta. Just don't tell me. Just wait, just wait. Let's let, let, let finish it. In the muta, there is no divorce. Is that correct? There is a divorce because we see, when you finish the, 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 the relationship between you and your wife, there is no relationship. It's That's false. Divorce. That's false. When the time is up, the contract is up. Is that correct? When the time is up, when the time is up, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so there's no divorce. You don't need to say I, I divorce yes, you, I correct? Know. You do not need to say I divorce you. you. Is that correct? Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. I, I'm losing my patience with you. You do you have to say you are divorced or divorce happen automatically when the time is up? The divorce is when the time is up. Because thank you very much. Okay, okay, hold on, guys. The divorce, like the divorce is when the time is up. So you do not need to say it. Why you do not need to say it? Because she is not your wife. Because you have a contract of sex. Like the marriage, you, you have. No, the marriage. There's no time. No, this is a lie. The marriage. There's no time. A marriage. You do. You don't divorce your wife automatically. You don't divorce her before you marry her. You don't say to her, "You are divorced in the day." Like I marry you today, Saturday, and you are divorced by Monday morning. There's no, no, there's no such a marriage like this. Here in this, in this, what you call marriage, it's not a marriage. Hold on, hold on, stop lying. In this, in this contract, it's a sex contract. So it's a contract for three days. When the days are up, everything is up. That's it. There's no divorce. There's no inheritance. There's no marriage. There's no. You don't. She didn't. Didn't inherit her husband. He is not even considered as a husband. He is just a boyfriend to sleep with her, but he pay her. She is a hooker. You Muslim, you accept that Muhammad he made your women hookers. Okay, but the, wait, the hadith say the okay. Muncha marriage. Did he say has okay? Guys, did he say okay? <laughs> where he said where he, where he said marriage. What marriage? There's no marriage there. He did not even use the word marriage. What is the, the word marriage? The mucha is the last, last, last My friend, sentence. you see, you see, let, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. Your prophet, he don't even respect you. Here we go, the hate and the fuss of an Arabic. Do you see the word marriage? Do you see the word marriage in the hadith? There's no marriage. Move, move this thing. I don't see it. It's in there. You will see it. Do you see the word marriage there? The Muslim translation is false in English. There's no marriage. Oh, what your prophet saying? Any man and women they want to f each other, they can f each other for three days. Ishra, <laughs> sleep together, f each other. Ishra, Ishra, Muashra is to f each other. Okay, any man and women they can f each other for three days. Where is the word marriage? It's not there. My friend, I don't lie. The word marriage is not there. Ishra is to have the actual sex to live together. This is what Ishra means. Stop lying. So you know, Prophet saying, any man, any man, any woman, they want to if each other for three days, three nights, feel free. And if you like to increase, increase. This is religion of God. This is my friend. This this is a solution, my friend. To what solution? Solution is a sleeping together, guys. This is a solution. This is a solution. I, a solution for what? Not. Solution for what? Explain to us. Solution for what? For the man and the woman that uh, have the the possibility uh, or. Uh, okay, so a man. So you are saying this is a solution. If somebody is horny, okay, thank you. So if somebody is horny, he can go and ask any woman to sleep with her. I mean, do, do I need God to teach me this? Any must they do that? What kind of God he says? So what marriage for? Uh, what kind of God he says if any of you is horny you can hire any woman for three days three nights to sleep with her You yeah. see the woman if I, if the woman accept when is the problem see, see, Guys did you hear this if the women accept what is the problem did you hear it if the women accept what is the problem well, that's mean your Muslim woman is a whore that mean you are a whore no, too because if you ask a woman listen listen if you ask a woman to sleep with you let me ask you do, do you have to pay listen do you have to pay this woman yes or no 
show me where he said this do you have to pay this woman or no did this hadith say something i am i am woman? asking you a question about as long you claim that you know do you have to pay this woman yes as or no as i see this hadith there is abdul 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 i'm asking you in the case of muta do you have to pay her yes or no I don't know. Show me the hadith. I need to discuss it. Okay. If I show you that you have to pay her, what you will say? Are you going to say this is filthy? There is no, there is no problem because they are in agreement with her. Because you, your, your wife also in the marriage you pay her. Abdul, you pay her for three days and she go. Do you know that or not? No, I do not you know that. Know no, no I do not know that. This is this is not the worry. This is not the worry. The worry is something you pay so they can go and they, she buy her clothes, she buy etc. She have expenses. This is not about buying it's her. Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. This is not not even about marriage. This is a woman. She will sleep with you only for three days. So why she is taking off her panty? Because you are going to pay her. Because because you are going to pay her. Hold on. Now you say. It. Let me show you. If I go to a woman, if I go to a woman and I give her, let us say, a Gucci uh, coat, is it okay for the woman to take off her panty for me, according to Islam? In return of my Gucci coat. Sure. Don't tell me, show me. I'm asking sure. you. You are the Muslim. I'm sure. I'm asking you. If a, if a, if a man he go to a Muslim woman, her name is Fatima, and he said, take off your panty, I will buy you uh, uh, some nice clothes from Victoria's Secret. If you do that, is that lawful in Islam? What can you repeat? If a man he see a woman, she is a Muslim, and he said to her, "If yeah. you take off your panty, let me sleep with you. I will buy you some nice clothes from Victoria's Secret." Is that okay, Nisla? I don't know. Show me the hadith. I don't don't tell me I don't know. What's wrong with you? Each time I saw you something, you say I do not know. Suddenly, you, suddenly, Muslim do not know. The guy before you, he never heard of. No, no, uh, just, uh, okay, hold on. Show okay. me. Show me. Show me. Okay. Show me. Show me. Show me. Show me. I will spend the day show showing you. Here I we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Read it. Read it. This is Sahih Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. Does it say here? What that, he said, the book of marriage. The what? The book of the marriage, book yeah. Of this marriage. is marriage? The book of marriage, yeah. <laughs> yeah has nothing to do Abdul, with Muta. Abdul, read with me. It says it clearly it is Muta. Stop lying. People are laughing at you. Read. I just read. Read. It says, it says, it says. Then he granted us permission that we should contract a temporary marriage. Muta. How you do it in exchange, even of a clothing, in exchange of a garment, you see it? Exchange, exchange of what on garment? Here we go. This is the Arabic. So you're a prophet is seducing men to join him allowed him to do anything they want they want to have sex with women without marriage no problem hire a woman give her give her a coat give her a dress give her some money she take off her panty and she's lawful for you she's like a wife now halal halal prostitution halal in islam so why you are muslim saying to me that the hadith about muhammad he seduced men to attack the roman so he can get the blonde girls is not accurate Look at your prophet. Where, where is the word muta in Arabic? He said nankih. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Nankih, it means to me F. The, the word nankih. The word nankih means to F. To F. To F a woman. And nankah al mar'a bil thawb. Bil thawb. And nankah. 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 It's to marry him. It's not muta. Okay, do you want me to get you busted? That nankah does not mean to marry. Show me. It can be. Are you sure? Do you want to show you? What is the word of in Arabic? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is the word nankah? Is, hold on, don't change it. No, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Is the word nukah mean marriage or to mean to F somebody? Marriage. Show, prove to me that nikah is mucha. Abdul. I will prove to you. What? 
first of all, first of all, first of all, the word nikah, the word nikah does not mean muta. The word nikah means to if somebody. Read with me carefully. This is your Islamic website. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The word nikah, the mean of the word nikah. Read with me carefully, guys. Do you see it? Is the is the is the this is the Islamic website? Here we go. Let me show you. Alislam.org. Alislam.org. What is the meaning of the word nikah? Let us see. The Muslims is telling us the truth. Read carefully and, lo and, and love with me. In Islam, hold on, on, hold on. In Islam, marriage is not Why restricted. Not? Oh, hold on, hold on. And then he says, he said, okay. you want the Islamic term for marriage is nikah. Nikah literally means sexual intercourse. Do you see it? Does it say that or I'm lying? So in Islam, you don't have marriage. You have the F word. When you say to a woman, I want to, you don't say I want to marry you. I say I want to F you. You, you see, how you lying? What, what did you say? The Islamic term for marriage is nikah. Say nikah. So nikah. Marriage is nikah. Okay. Is nikah. What is nikah? Literally, <laughs> read, 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 read. What after? Read after. What is and and what is nikah? And what is nikah? What What do you do in marriage? Do you do? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. No, he said to you what the word nikah mean. He is saying to us, hold on, don't be stupid. He is saying to us, he is telling give us a. Hold on, he is telling us what the Muslims what they do. Hold on, shut up, man. Just get lost, get lost. Don't call me again. He is saying literally means sexual intercourse. So for you, a Muslim, when you say I want to do F you, you don't say I want to marry you. You say I want to F you. Don't call me. Don't call me. That's it. Go, get lost. I'm not going to scream until tomorrow. It says it clearly that when a Muslim, he don't, he don't get married. He say to a woman, I want to F you. Nikah. How ugly, how disgusting, how savage. We have a word in Arabic, it's called zawaj. This is marriage. Why you don't say, I want to marry you? Well, instead, what you say, I want to do nikah to you. And this is what the hadith is saying. I want to do nikah. Anyone want to do nikah, as we see here in front of us, in Arabic it says, anyone want to do nikah, don't call me Abdul. I'm done with you. Not for today. Come to call me tomorrow. He allowed us to do nikah, not marriage. And the word nikah means sexual intercourse, literally. This is how savage Muhammad is. And here what we learn, why you are calling me? Why you are calling me again? Allah in the Quran, he says, Thank you very much, guys. Hold on. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let, let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Okay, let me ask you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. According to you, Muslims, Shaitan he did nikah to himself. Did Shaitan do nikah to himself? Yes or no? What what is this about? We are trying to find out what the meaning. Did did Shaitan did nikah to himself? Yes or no? Answer me about the, uh, the verse in the Quran. And uh, hold on, don't change the topic. We are talking about the word nikah now. It says, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did the Quran? Did the Quran teach you that Shaitan he had? Did, did the Quran teach you that Shaitan has sex? Abdul, either you will answer or I will hang up on you. Is it true that Shaitan, okay. according to you Muslims, according to you Muslims, Shaitan, he if himself, did nikah to himself, yes or no? He can be. I don't know. It he can is. be. Can so be. what what the word do you use? Yes. What 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 you what the word do you use when you say Shaitan he did have sex with himself? Because this what the word what the word do you use? Do you use do you use the word hold on? Do you use the word nikah? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So how Shaitan yes. marry himself? Shaitan marry himself? If the word nikah mean marriage, Shaitan when he did nikah to himself, he marry himself. Do, do you do you know how uh, how how uh, this Satan how how it, it, it have sex with any any 
anyone else. No, no, this you is not about. Compare, this is not. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is not compare Satan with the human. Abdul, cannot, Abdul, we, don't, we don't see him. This is not about Shaitan having sex with someone else. This is. I'm talking about Shaitan having sex with himself. We don't. We don't see. This Satan. So how you can understand my the friend, world of Satan? My friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. The question is very simple. I'm asking you, how Satan he have sex with himself? Do you know how Satan is stops? I am asking you. When you say Satan he had sex with himself, what do you, what is the word you use? Nika. Nika, thank you very much. So, guys, Shaitan is effing himself. This is marriage now. So, did he marry himself? But we don't understand. Okay, no, explain to me. Here we go. I'm listening to you. As long as you admit that Shaitan, he do nika to himself. Did Shaitan marry himself or he eff himself? My friend, if I want to explain something, I need to see it. I see the human. I know how how they have sex. But Satan and the world of Satan, I don't know how he did it. My so friend, okay, okay. Shall we, I shall we go? See. Shall we go and see how he get his babies? Should we go? Is that okay? Go. Okay, let us see. Go. Okay. Look like we will keep jumping from place to place all day long, but no problem. That's, no, because that's, fine. That's, fine. that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. This is this is the official. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Look with me. I'm going to show you in the screen. Go. All right. All right. Here we go. This is the chapter 18, verse number 50. And this is the interpretation of Al Qurtubi. Read with me carefully. It says, In the Iblisa at Khalafarjahu fi Farjinafsihi, Fabada, Khamsa Baydot, Fahada Asla Zuriyatahu. And then he says, وقيل إن الله تعالى خلق له في فخذه اليمنى ذكرا وفي اليسرى فرجا فهو ينكح هذا بهذا let us explain Allah and said that Allah he created for him the shaitan a penis in the right side of his leg and a vagina in the left leg so he if this with that he do nukah do you see it فهو ينكح هذا بهذا hold on and then he lay down 10 eggs every day and from every egg, there is 70, there is 70 shaitan and shaitan and they come out and they fly right away when they come out. So now, shaitan, he have a penis and the yes, right leg. The problem, with this? the problem is, you said to me, nikah does not mean sex, it means marriage. Now shaitan is doing nikah by effing himself. He have a penis, he have a vagina in the same time. He shake his legs, so he enter his penis inside, inside his vagina and this is how he eff himself. Do you see the word nikah there? Again, you see, when you use nikah, it's not you cannot compare Satan with the human. My friend, you want to my friend, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It says that he have a penis. He have a penis. He have a penis. Allah, he created for him in the right side of his leg, a penis, and in his left leg, a vagina. So he, if that, بهذا, do you see it? So, I have no she, with that. okay, I have no so what the, so what the word there is, nikah, it, okay, nikah. what nikah is okay, here? Okay. What nikah? I am agree with you. I am agree with you. Mm. Nikah in Arabic can mean it means having sex with someone, mm. and it also means marriage. I, I don't have problem with this. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't, I so now we go nikah. back. So now we, we, we made you admit, we made you admit that the word nikah does not mean marriage, it means the, the, the F4. Okay, it's it, you, the uh, nikah, you, it used to marriage and it used to have relationship because my proof it's in, in the Quran because Allah says, Okay, let me ask you. He said, he said, let me show you that this is not about marriage. Let me get you busted. Are you, are you ready? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get you busted, Abdul. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted, my friend. I am here to get the Muslim Abdul busted day, day and night. No problem. You are the one who choose that verse for me. How many women? How how many women you are allowed to do nikah to in Islam? You can marry one, two, three, four, and only one if you can't have just all right to this. But uh, to this but world. but the verse. So, but if hold on, but the verse you quote for me, it doesn't say you can marry two and three and four because it says you can have six 
do nikah to the slave. So if this is about marriage, if this is about marriage, why here it says, وَنْكَحُوا مَا طَابَ لَكُمْ مِنَ النِّسَاءِ مَثْنَى وَثَلَاثِ وَرَبَاءِ فَإِنْ خُفْتُمْ فَأَلَّا تَعْدُلُوا فَوَاحِدَةً أَوْ مَا مَلَكَتْ أَيْمَانَكُمْ Nikah cannot be marriage now because it says you have maximum of four women in the bed and then in the top of that, whatever you wish to do nikah to those who they are slaves, correct? No, my friend. Show me uh, the... Uh, what do you mean, no, my friend? Of this verse. What do you mean, no, my friend? Chapter, chapter 4, verse number 3. What's wrong with you? Nikah, are you... Okay, show me okay, the okay. The, the, are you allowed in Islam to do nikah to all the slaves you have? Yes or no? Show me the interpretation of this verse. Let's discuss it. Okay, let us show you. What interpretation you like, my friend? Anyone you want. All right. Thank you. No, I like I like you to tell me which one you want because customers come first here. Anyone you want. Again, all right. Not a problem. Anyone okay, no, you want. no problem. Okay, let's go here. <coughs> All right. Or All right. Read with me carefully. It says you have the right to do yes. nikah to all the slaves girls you have. I didn't say it. So what you Muslim understand from this that nikah mean you can have up to four wives, right? But yes. but they they are wives, yes. But you do nikah to them. You don't marry them, really. You do nikah, and then and the nikah will be done not only for the wife, the four wives, to all the slaves you have. Read it. This is the proof that the word nikah never meant marriage. But you try to make it look in English like we are marrying. But the fact it is nikah, it is the f. It says to you, you can f two and the three and four together. Plus all the slave girls you own. There's no what limit. Did he say? There's when, no there, when you marry them. When you marry them. Marry who? Did they say this? Or marry who? No. Marry who? The, the third sentence. My friend, this is your Muslim when translation. You, you try to make the word. Trash. You know, we 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 we. we Abdul, 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 Abdul. In your Muslim translation, you, you try to fool yourself. You try to fool us. Says, okay, we are marrying, but the Quran says you do nikah, no, and we no. and we get you busted no, with no, the word no, nikah already. No, that the word nikah, the word nikah mean to do if them. Now listen, listen. Is the word nikah? Hold on, hold on. Is the word nikah used for the slaves and the four in the same time? Yes or no? What? You are slow. Read with me. Does the word nikah go for both? The four women you are going to sleep with, matna, wathrat, waruba, two and three and four, and in the top of that, whatever you own in your right hand possess. It says, it says, it says, Abdul, listen, don't, don't, just, just go. For, for the sake of Allah balls, leave me, you know, go. Stupidity. It says a slave in the front of you. Are you a donkey or what? And whatever you own of your right hand process, whatever the slaves you own, all of them. What is the word you use? Is nukah? Do you do nukah to the slave? Yes. But do you marry her? No. Don't call me again. I'm done with you. Let us change the translator, change the, the interpretation so people will laugh. This is Ibn Abbas. Do you see it? Or that your right hand process captive what do you do with them you sleep with them so the word nikah is not about marrying is about sleeping you sleep you are you are it's lawful for you to sleep with two and three and four and whatever you own as your slaves and look here what they're saying this is a providing substance that only you can have sex with four women who they are free so you can have sex only with the free women with the R4 maximum. Do you see it, guys? Only free women. Or you have sex with all the slave women you have. That is Islam. Even the word marriage is not there. Go and F women. Go and do muta. 
and they speak that Islam teach dignity and teach ethic what kind of a prophet he teach you you see what while Musa was stoning people to death for adultery your prophet was allowing women and men to sleep together three days three night three days three night for fun and if you wish to go more go more right if you wish to go more my friend okay go more what what a big deal no problem with Muhammad Muhammad he never have a problem he's open-minded three days three days three night three night have fun when the days are up your contract is up you hire you hire a prostitute you say to her how much you will charge me for tonight oh I will charge you uh, you know if she is a Muslim she will be cheap like for five dollars five dollars you say what five dollars yesterday I got a Muslim better than you for three dollars you negotiate and then when you reach an agreement and by the way you have to pay her money otherwise it's haram look look home how much decent is religion you have to make an agreement and discuss how much money there's conditions in this muta you have to set up the date which means you have to confirm for how long you cannot just say we do without without saying a date so you have to agree for how many hours how many days and then you have to agree for how much money and then if you agree both about the money and the date that said she is lawful for you well isn't it this is adultery this is what prostitutes gay galo they do or j galo how much for how long what do you do what i will get in return prostitution that is islam and you are telling me that islam have a dignity and islam is a religion if this is religion, what is devil? If this is religion, what is Las Vegas? If this is Allah, what is pimp? Hello? Good evening, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. How are you? I'm okay. Just about the nikah, I'd like to say a nikah, uh, meaning uh, two, two meanings have. Hmm. Nikah, yani al wata. What what al wata uh, mean? Explain. To yeah, wata. Uh, to f. You, to f. You hmm, to f. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, you can read the fatwa in the uh, now hmm. in the Google. Ma hak nikah aliyat? The Sheikh explained. Nikah aliyat be. To f your hand. Yeah, to f your hand. Okay. Yeah, but uh, just I would I'd like to say to this Muslim who try to to prove that nikah and not uh, uh, only uh, Mary Mary that's not true my friend the Muslim today they are using it as they say uh, marriage but but in fact it never been as a marriage because now they used to it you know it's in the religion what they can do a man he come you know I know a story of a guy he came to a man he said to him I want to do nikah to your daughter they kick him out they beat it beat him Go right yeah. now to any Islamic chat and say, I want to do nikah, and you will see what they will say to you. They will curse you. Yes, because you right away, I... right away, they will understand it that you are saying, I want to if you. I want, yeah. I challenge any Muslim to show me where he accept a man to come to his house to, to, to ask for the, the hand of his daughter and say, I want to do nikah to your daughter. They don't use it. Because it's... why you don't use the word marriage? We have a word marriage in, in Arabic. Why the Arab don't use the word nikah if the word marriage is, is nikah, correct? We are Arab and we are Christians. Why you will not find one Christian saying the word nikah? Did you ask yourself? Guys, are you getting my point? We, yes, are, we, are, we are Arab. We are Arab. Arabic is our language. Actually, we are the one who taught the Muslims Arabic. All, all the huge, big poetry, the amazing poetry is written by five Arabian Christians. The biggest, the biggest accomplishment in Arabic language is written by Arab Christians. Yeah, why we yeah. don't use, why we don't use the word nikah? If the word nikah means marriage. This nikah is, with uh, Mel Mel it's not marriage. Uh, 
you explain yeah, Malik Yamin is is a, is a, is, a, is a right hand possess so so it says do and nikah to to two and the three and four and whatever you own or your right hand possess so it cannot be marriage because you are not going to marry the slave you are continuing doing nikah he used one yeah. word he didn't say do nikah to two and three and four and then sleep with the slave no it says do nikah to this and this and this and the slaves but the slaves are not wives Yes, you're right. Yeah. The, the, in Islam, there is no uh, marriage with, uh, say, uh, the slaves. Just uh, nikah. No, you can marry. You can marry. You can marry from a slave, but you don't have to. You can. You can have secular or without marriage. You know. But anyway, but this is what the word mean. This is what the word mean. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Anything else? No, thank All right. you. All right. Yeah, and this is another issue, by the way. You will see some people saying to me in Wakabidia and etc. It says this: if you want to go by Wakabidia, Wakabidia in Wakabidia, Islam mean peace. Good luck with Wakabidia. If you want to learn from Wakabidia, don't listen to me then. Wakabidia. Actually, a guy he said to me in, in in Facebook, he said to me, "So if Islam is false, why why Wakabidia says the Prophet was saying the truth? <laughs> what? Wakabidia, nice to meet you. I know, I know." Why you are calling me again, Muhammad? What? Why you are calling Muhammad again? Why? Do you want to know what is the meaning of nikah? Go to Arabic dictionary. No, and let us know what is the. Uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. I prove it to you. I prove it to you. Your prophet is teaching you to do nikah to three days, three nights, right? Yes. Listen, listen. Is is this one? Is this one three days? Is this one? Is this one three days and three nights? Is it nikah for you? Yes or no? Go to Arabic. I'm asking you, Church. is this is this a three nikah. three days and three nights? Is it nikah? Yes or no? This is not Is that nikah? Yes or, is or no? Nikah. You just get lost. Okay, see you, you're stubborn. This is in front of you. If this is nikah, we got what nikah is about. If this is nikah, any man and woman they agree to do what? You tell me to do what? What they would do? They would do nikah. What is nikah here? Marriage? Three days, three nights. Have fun. Imagine, guys, Musa saying any one of you can have sex for three days, three nights for fun. And if you like to increase, increase. What? Yes. Why you don't want to go to Arabic dictionary? I showed you, I showed you from the Arabic dictionary. Isn't it that website? Is your Muslim website? It says that nikah mean effort. Okay, listen, 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 listen. The, the Arabic dictionary is written by who? By by this by uh, the scholars of language. Okay, let let me let me ask you. As long you are a person who speak of Arabic dictionary, I want to I want to see I want to show the people your hypocrisy. You're a prophet, he said, that a man, a woman, no, hold on, hold on. I want to show you, I want to show you how, in a, how in a second you will regret the Arabic. Hold on. I want to show everybody that you are, that you are a liar and you will not like the dictionary. I want you to say, I accept the dictionary, whatever it says. You see, you change the topic. You I'm see. not changing the topic. I'm, I am asking you. I'm asking you. In front, I am asking you in front of everybody to give me a promise. I am asking you to give me a promise. That whatever dictionary says you accept, say yes. Yes, go. Okay. Show me what is nikah in dictionary. Okay, hold on. When you do nikah with a woman, did your prophet say you have to taste her juice? Go to Arabic dictionary. What's your prophet? I am going to dictionary. I'm going to dictionary. Here we go. Let us see. Your prophet he allow you to have a woman. To sleep with, to do nikah to her, and in order to make this nikah lawful, so she can go back to her husband, she have to test your juice, and you have to test her juice. What is that in the dictionary? The juice, is that the sperm? What? What is the word you have to taste? You have to taste her juice, and she have to taste her juice. 
What is the Jews? Asila to her. Asila. What is Asila mean? What what it means? I'm asking you. We will see in a second. We will go to the dictionary, and we will see what nikah means in dictionary and what asila means in dictionary. Now, do you agree? Do you agree with me that asila means to drink the sperm of your man? I don't know. Go to the. Uh, don't tell me I don't know. How come you are sure? I don't. Does it say? Does it say? Okay, okay. Let me ask you. Hold on, hold on. You you speak Arabic. When you're a prophet, he said that a woman she is divorced. She is divorced three times. She she have to marry a new man, and she have to test his orgasm, and he have to test her orgasm. I'm I'm giving you a true translation, or I'm lying. But show me the Arabic dictionary about this word. We will show you. I'm asking you. You see here in the translation, guys. Look, it says, "Unless the second husband consummate his marriage." It doesn't say that in Arabic. In Arabic, it says, "Until she tastes his his juice, and he tastes her juice." Explain to me, because this is a connection with the other verse. What is tasting the juice mean? I'm listening. What juice we are talking about? You, you, know, you see something. When the 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 the, the, the experts in the translation, when they want to translate some words in Arabic, mm. he just he, he didn't just translate it. He 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 he, he must need. Uh, he okay, must you translate for me. Forget about them. What is asila to hamin? What asila to hamin? Here in this translation, it says, until he has tested her sweetness. What does that mean? Asila. What asila mean? It says hatta yazuqu asilatuha or sailatuha. What he meant? What what is the juice? You know? know. What what do you mean you do not know? I don't know this word. Okay, Arabic, I will give you. Arabic, I will give you five. Arabic, I will give you five minutes. I will give you five minutes to come back to me. Is that okay? Go no. Go to Arabic uh, dictionary. And okay. Uh, no okay. Let me let me let me let me say let me say. If I say if I okay okay if I say this is the, your prophet is teaching the men and women to to drink the orgasm of each other do you agree So what is the problem What is the problem the women she don't want the man yes. your prophet is forcing the women to taste the orgasm so of a new hey, hold on hold on hold on this is about what this is about, hold on hold on you told me what your problem let me explain to you otherwise i will hang up on you and i'll block you don't stop don't stop being stupid you ask me what is a problem let me show you hold on hold on shut up shut up shut up shut up let me let me explain what because you're a donkey you ask me what the problem and you don't let me to talk you see you see let me explain to you what is the problem this woman she is divorced she, this woman she is divorced three times from her husband is that correct yes okay now she have to marry a new husband and she have to test his orgasm in order to go back to the previous husband is that correct yes okay thank you guys guys did he did you hear this what kind of religion you order a woman to go and sleep and f another a new man so she can and drink his orgasm so she can go to the previous husband this is the agreement between the man and the woman. No, it's your prophet who is forcing us to do that. This is not an agreement. It's your prophet saying you have to taste his juice. She have to test your juice. It is not. An, it is not. It is not an agreement. It's your prophet forcing the women to do that. Did he say force it? It says you cannot. Here we go. It says unless you cannot until she tastes his juice and he tastes her juice. What kind of a prophet? I don't, I don't. What kind of a prophet? He you teach see, such a teaching. You see, this is the immoral. The morals are subjective. What moral? It's what moral? This is moral. This is moral that your wife now, if you divorce your wife, if you divorce your wife, we send your wife to Muhammad Hijab and she suck his orgasm so she can get back to you. My friend, this is bad for you, but it's, it's the moral. It's, it's bad for me. It's good for you. You mean it's bad for me. It's bad for me. It's perfect for you. Are you saying that? It depends on the people. It there is the the morals are subjective, my friend. 
what moral is subjected subjected no it's not subjected what kind of moral you say to a woman you say to a woman a woman she want to go back to her husband she have a children from him you say to her you have to go and no, sleep with a new man hold on hold on hold because on because the woman she like it she like it oh she like it his wife she like it no she don't like it okay let me get you busted you said the women she like it okay hold on hold on hold on hold on you said the women she like it let me get you busted let me get you busted let me get you busted you said the woman she like it right he is accusing women they like to suck the sperm of men look at this look 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 here we go you're a prophet here we go listen you're a prophet here is a story a man he did beat his wife and i will show hold on we are showing you Europe, you oh, shut, like shut up. This is a story here. A man he was beating his wife because she don't want to suck his sperm. She don't want to take off his her panty for the husband. Why? Because Muhammad he forced her, in order to go to the previous husband, to go and marry a new man. She thought I can marry him, and then I will not let him sleep with me, and then I can go back to the husband because Muhammad he created a very disgusting rule. A woman she cannot go back to her husband unless she f a new husband and she suck his private part and she enjoy his juice. So look what happened. Muhammad he said to her at the end after the man beat, beat the hell of her and he made her skin greener than her clothes. Her skin is a greener. Look, Aisha she said, I never saw. I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Look, her skin is a greener than her clothes. Don't call me. He did beat her to force her to sleep with him. And the woman still, she refused. She went to Muhammad asking for help. Look what Muhammad he did. He took the side of the man. And even he gave the man an order that a man, he gave him chapter 4, verse number 34. It says, beat them, whatever you wish, as you wish. Read with me. Allah Messenger said, the man, he accused her. She want to go back to her husband, Rifa. Huh? She want to go back to Rifa. Allah Messenger said to her, if you if this is your intention then you know that it is unlawful for you to remarry rifa unless abdul rahman he tastes your juice you see the muslim translation here false translation in arabic it says until he tastes your juice and you taste his juice now what the word asila this is the word asila what asila mean let us go to the dictionary you want you want to see the dictionary right okay let us love together Okay. Guys, do you see it? Do you see it? What does Asila mean? Orgasm. <laughs> this is a prophet of God? And this is a religion? If you want to go back to your husband, it's unlawful for you unless he tests your orgasm and you test his orgasm. This is the wisdom of the high ethical prophet Muhammad. Do you see it? This is the garbage of Muhammad. Guys, are we learning? How many of you today they learn something new? Are we learning? Please don't make me feel I wasted my time. I'm losing my voice. I'm not even, I'm not feeling good since yesterday. Honest to God, I'm not feeling good. But I feel that I have a duty to do. This is why I'm here. I have a bad headache. I don't feel good. My voice is gone. But I came because I know that there's people that are waiting. My friend, Islam is nothing but a demonic cult sick This is not a teaching of a normal man. Obviously this man is sick What kind of a man he says such a thing be 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 honest with yourself It doesn't matter if you are a Hindu or a Christian or a Buddha or a Muslim or atheist This is cannot be someone to follow 
He cannot even be a good for a, for a mafia leader. Even mafia leaders would not say that. Imagine you are a member of a mafia, and then you divorce your wife, and then the prophet, he says to you, or the gang, or the godfather of the mafia, he says to you, oh, you cannot get back your wife back unless she suck. Uh, hmm. Yeah. What is that? This is God? This is God, and this is religion, and this is a prophet. Why you are calling me, Muhammad? Why? I am not calling because there is a hadith of Aisha that he said that Asila is having sex. It's not what you are meaning. Aren't you the one who asked me to go to the dictionary before? Because there, there is not another hadith. See, guys, hold because on, hold on. Did, did I did I say to you? Let me show you. Let me. Did I, do you remember? I I said to you. Oh, if I show him the dictionary now, he a sec, in, in a second he will say, "I don't want dictionary." Here we go. He don't want dictionary. Get lost, man. Get lost. You are a kid. You are the one who asked me to go to dictionary, and the second I said to you, are you sure? Are you sure you want us to show a dictionary? Do you accept the dictionary? Now, dictionary is wrong. <laughs> Aren't you the one who asked me for dictionary? This is your Islamic dictionary. Here we go. Everybody can see. Have nothing to do with me. I am not the one who made this dictionary. Here we go. The dictionary. Don't call me. Don't call me. I'm done with you today. Call me tomorrow. I'm, my voice is gone. This is dictionary Al Ma'ani in the front of you. This is your Islamic dictionary, and this is coming from, you know, it's it's a collection actually of Arabic dictionary, which is made by Muslims, by the way, to fit with the Quran, to fit with Islam. The grammar in Arabic today, and the dictionary in Arabic today is made to fit with the Quran, which means if the Quran is wrong, the dictionary does not dare to say the Quran is wrong. Because who they are? Who they are? Nobody. Yeah, I will go and rest soon. I have a really bad headache. But uh, I'm doing this. Do you know how for, for how many years? Do you know how many years I'm doing this every day? This garbage. You guys, you don't believe it. Maybe some of you was not born yet. Every day dealing with this garbage, and then people they say to me, You are not being patient with Muslims. Go, man, go, don't call me, don't call me. And not only that, until now. You will find that many people, they, you know, even the one, the one who heard me many times, still they don't understand what I'm talking about. Still, many of them they think Islam is a good religion. God is good. God is good and he will not leave you without witnesses and I pray that the day when it come and my day will be to go that the Lord will leave you with someone is even better than Christian Prince to fight this cult I pray that many of us they will learn and they will teach many of us they will carry on the message and the truth so your children will not be deceived you are not doing a, I'm not doing a favor to myself, I am sick of this cult. I wish I can go and just close my eyes and that state is gone. But I feel so sad when I see somebody is deceived. Actually, I feel guilty. But as you see, I'm doing whatever I can. We have a duty, my friend. This ugly cult is disgusting. This is anti-human cult. This is a cult, treat women as garbage. Treat children as garbage. It's anti-human. When the cult teach that you can have sex with the children, that is anti-human. That's not only child abuse. This is a crime. Even in the heaven of Islam, the God of Islam provide each one of us is 80,000 little boys. Child abuse and slavery, even in heaven. 80,000 women 
in heaven. And anything the Muslim they find it disgusting and embarrassing, they say to you, oh, this is weak. Uh, we don't like it. We don't agree with it. Uh, this is uh, re rejected. It was not rejected for centuries and centuries and centuries. And now, because they notice people are not stupid anymore, and people, they have a freedom to talk. Before who they are? Okay, I live in the Middle East. Can I say anything I'm saying now? Trust me, before I finish my sentence, my head will be flying. Who dare in the Middle East to say what I'm saying? Actually, this is why I came here. Where I'm coming from, I have a good life. Here I'm poor. Here I'm no one. I have no family, I have no friends, I have nobody. But I have my freedom, which is a priceless. Freedom is a priceless, my friend. Don't ever exchange your freedom for anything. The devil always, he tried to buy your freedom from you. He buy your soul from you. Don't be for sale. Always there is somebody to buy. And the second they buy you, they will use you and then they will dump you. You will be like a plastic bag being used and thrown out. Even, even you lose respect to yourself and even the one who buy you, he don't respect you. Don't be for sale. Maybe many of you do not know how much Muslims money they offer me to stop attacking Islam. Maybe you do not know. They try everything they can do. My friend, Islam is very easy to fight. I saw an article actually, somebody sent me an article from a Jazeera TV. It says, China, Islam is a mental illness that need to be cured. Will I challenge you to prove it wrong? Chinese are right. If a China consider Islam as a mental illness, a China is, is in the right track. The whole world now attacking China for what they are doing with Islam, but nobody is talking about China destroying churches. We understand those are communists. But they will not say Christianity is a mental illness. Islam is mental illness. I went to China. I met Christ, you know, Chinese Christians. Christianity in China is spreading in like an unbelievable way. Even though with all the discrimination, all the humiliation, all the object, like all the things they put in the front of you, so they make you not to be. Be, became a believer, but China is the coming Christian giant. Many of you think China is just a communist country. You will not believe it. Maybe one day I can take some of you with me. Same as Korea, same even in Thailand. You know, in Thailand, Christianity is spreading so fast. And now the Buddha priests are worried. Even those who own, who own casinos are worried. Because there's many, they are giving up the, 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 the sex business. We are not only winning. We are victorious by his name. You might see some funny news here and there they try to make you feel disappointed that this person or oh, an actor he converted to islam well he, let him go to islam he belong where he belong my friend remember one thing bees they go to the flower fly they go to the garbage and you go where you belong we belong to jesus
they belong to this man go and have sex with women three days three night for fun go and kidnap some women go and have sex with the children when a jazeera the same website we are reading from a jazeera they made a program it's called a sharia wal hayat and in the program they say 16,000 Muslims leaving Islam and converting to Christianity a day they were so angry the guy in the program who is the head of the Islamic Center in Libya Muhammad al Qatani, he said nobody have the right to take Muslims out of the religion uh -huh. so you have the right to build mosque in Europe and you want to convert people to Islam but we have no right no you have no right well we have the right and Muslims are coming to Christ you like it or not and now you see there is there is some Arabic programs exposing Islam they are the most popular programs in the world between Arab millions of Muslims live in Islam Muslims are naive people they have no idea this guy by the way I don't think he's a bad person but he's blinded with the with the paint that Muhammad is an amazing person you can't even say Muhammad name without saying Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Allah pray on him and salute him it's a pray for not to <laughs> it's God he's God for them even his name is Muhammad what is what Muhammad mean the praised one how your prophet his name is the praised one if he is the praised one who is the praised to if the man Muhammad is a pra the praised one then who is the praised to even his name is kufr even his name is against God even his name is blasphemy as in God because you cannot call a man the praised one unless he is God and the funny until now they are praying on Muhammad but he is dead Allah and the angels and the believers pray on Muhammad let me show you one more thing how many of you remember what happened between Muhammad and his wives? First time they say to you, Muhammad is the perfect man, right? Okay. What happened? What happened when Muhammad have, have a fight with his wives? Read and laugh. Read and laugh. Let me show you. What a comedy drama. There's a drama and there's comedy. This is comedy and drama in the same time. Muhammad, he have a fight with his wives, as usual. And his wives, they are going crazy against this perverted man. So look what happened. They found him cheating in their beds, sleeping with women in their beds. So look what he said. Umar al Khattab, he said something. Muhammad, he took it, he made a Quran. He said, If you two, to who? His two wives, Hafsa and Aisha. Hafsa is the head of the Republican Party, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and uh, Aisha, she is the head of the de Democrat. So each one of them, there's many wives behind. They are not only two, the, the women of Muhammad, they are two parties. So look at this. If, two, if you two turn into repentance to him, to him, to Allah, your heart are indeed inclined. He accused him to be kuffar. But if you back each other against him, against him who? Muhammad. Okay, what will happen? Truly Allah is his protector. What the heck? Muhammad needs the protection of Allah against two women. They are five foot tall and they are his wives. Have you ever heard of a madness like this? Allah is his protector. Oh, hold on, it's not enough. And Jibreel, oops, 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 the fight is getting bigger. Jibreel is coming. And every righteous one among those who believe. Uh oh, 1.6 billion Muslims are joining the fight. Two women versus Muhammad and Allah and Jibreel and every Mujahid in the world. And it's not enough yet. And furthermore, the angels will back him up. If, 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 if. All of this, 
all of this involve in a fight between Muhammad and his two wives? I mean, what is left in the universe? God who created the galaxies, now he's in the back of Muhammad. Let us let us make some uh, some art. You know me, I'm, I'm very good in art. Actually, many museums are connecting me to uh, to uh, you know to draw for them, but I said I'm busy. You know, I'm, I'm I'm busy making Quran these days. So, according to Muhammad, there is two women. This is Hafsa. Okay. As the hadith describe her, she have a big boobs. Okay, so she have big boobs. And this is Aisha. Aisha is so little tiny, you know. Okay, this is Aisha. And now in this side we have Muhammad. And he have a sword. He have two legs, by the way. And then we have behind him Allah. Allah is Akbar. He's big. He is very big. This is Allah. He have two legs, but both of them they are in the in the right side, and two hands, both of them in the right side. So his hand is there. And then we have Jibril. Jibril is smaller. And then we have 1.6 billion Muslim, 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 Muslims everywhere, Muslims who you are there, uh, you name it, it it's in this. <clears throat> and then uh, furthermore, see, I lost my voice. Furthermore, we have all the angels, 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 angels. Okay, now all of them, they are going to shoot at Aisha. And Hafsa. Time for jihad, my friend. Shoot, shoot, shoot arrows. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Take me. And Hafsa and Aisha still resisting the fight, and they are shooting back using their sandals. Let us get some some sandals. You know, women. You know what women will do? They use sandals. So Allah is using arrows. Using fire, using every like a spaceship uh, fire, you know, all all the fiction of Muhammad, and those women they have sandals. Here we go, sandals. I will beat you. I will beat you. We would. We will. If you are a man, get closer. Okay. Do you see how long my nails? Do you see? What? What is that? This is this is Quran. Two women. Five foot tall. They are scaring the hell of Muhammad to the point he needed his support of Allah and Jibreel and every righteous Abdul and every angel of Allah. And yet he is not sure he's going to win. I agree by the way having having a fight with women is not a good thing ask me once I was in school I was a kid a bunch of girls attacked me I did not attack back because I, I learned from my dad don't ever beat a girl so they start scratching my I, I have actually and now I have a scratch in my hand unbelievable don't ever fight with girls you will be sorry Very scary. Hafsa and Aisha, they are fighting with the Prophet. The Prophet is alone. The Prophet is weak. The Prophet is need help. We, 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 we. Allah, He heard the news that Aisha and, and Hafsa, they are making a strike against the Prophet, throwing tomato and potato in his windows. So Allah, right away, He made a verse says, If you don't repent, you better know that Allah is his protector. And not only that, Jibreel, Jibreel, he have a black belt in karate. Ching -ho -he. It's not enough yet. We are going to send more. Every believer, 
Mujahideen, Allahu Akbar. ISIS, brother, Hafsa and Aisha, they are attacking the Prophet. Yes, right now, please, brother. We want some suicide bombers, please. And we need like at, at least at least 2,000 uh, suicide vest, brother. Yes, and don't forget to call Hamas and Hezbollah, brother. We need their help. Takbir. And now the Mujahideen is coming from every direction, trying to stop of the attack of two females on the Prophet. Oh, Zakir Naik is going to be called very soon. Hold on. Brother, how you explain to us that, that the Quran speak about the attack of Aisha and Hafsa? Okay. First of all, all the accusation against the Prophet is not true. They accused him that he was having sex with women in their bed. The fact it was not in the top of the bed, it was under the bed, brother. Therefore, they have no right. Secondly, the word there is warning them and warning everybody is going to go against the Prophet. Aitha, they have a very long nail. If you don't believe me, look at my neck, brother. Women, they have long nails. Very, very long, and they are very sharp. So you might make fun and say, why the Prophet need all the support? Because women are very dangerous. Very dangerous. 90% of men, they die in the world because of women attack. And this is a, this is this is a proven by science. Thank you very much. This is God. If this is God, what is stupidity? If this is God, what mental illness? What's wrong with you, Muslims? Guys, don't forget don't 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 forget to subscribe so you can get some uh, uh, some reward. Uh, Allah will support you, you know. From Allah, if you have a fight with your wife, women don't subscribe. You know this is channel is not good for you. As you see, we are Muslims. We are going to fight women. Allah, the believer is every believer. Everybody is in war with two women. What the garbage. As they say, garbage in, garbage out. Right? Garbage in, garbage out. Uh, look at this guy. He's saying to me, uh, Christian Prince, if you are a person who is good Christian, why you don't give your books for free? <laughs> That's a good one. A brother, a brother, first of all, uh, why you want to get my book for free, brother? Don't you want to, brother, help uh, to fight Islam, brother? You are a Muslim. So if you buy my books, my brother, you are going to help me to fight Islam, brother. Why you want to give it to you for free, brother? It's not for free because somebody have to pay for the pages and for shipping and for printing, brother. It's not printed by Allah, brother. Don't you agree? Well, even your God, Allah, he will not take you to heaven for free. You have to die for him. You have to do jihad. You have to kill yourself and kill some people. Your prophet, he will not even speak to you for free. And I know that you are upset from my books, brother, because a lot of people reading them and a lot of people leave in Islam. But this is not my problem. Actually, there's once a Muslim, he was very smart. He threatened me. He said, I swear by Allah, I'm going to buy all your books and I'm going to burn them. And until now, I'm waiting. I hope the Muslim will do that nonstop. That would be amazing. Beautiful. I mean, why you don't do it? Buy all my books with no exception and burn them and make video of them, by the way. Don't forget to make a video. It's very important. I mean, to, to, to make a point. Right? They don't keep their promises. They promised me they will burn them, but until now, I, I did not even see one Muslim is burning my books. Buy it and burn, you know. I will give you a discount, actually. If a Muslim want to burn my books, if you order more than 2,000 books, I will give you a good discount. How about that? 
Kabij. And then I will talk to Allah to send you to the seven galaxy where Muhammad he went to the heaven. The virgins are waiting for you. Allah will guarantee you because you did jihad, you bought a Christian prince books and you burned them. You will get a special highway to go to heaven. Hmm. Anyway, guys, I think it's time for me to go. Uh, did we have a good time? Was it a good time today? I hope we did learn something good and something new. Uh, if I feel better, I might do another podcast at night, you know. Uh, but if not, then enter. We we'll see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. God is willing. I want to say thank you for everybody. Thank you for those who made donation. I don't mention your name because you are not waiting for me to mention it. The Lord, He said, "Don't let your right hand know what the left hand know what your right hand gave." So I appreciate you all. I appreciate all those people who share the videos and do what they need to do. Let us work together to fight this cult. For God is good, we have to sponsor good. Never sponsor something evil. God is good. So is his name. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord and Islam is false. See you soon. Bye-bye.